بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقه قولي امين يا رب <coughs> Today inshallah we're starting the 12th juz so we're going to start continue the story of Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam basically his name will be cleared and then he will meet back with his family and then some lessons on uh, guidance and basic lessons of history you can say will be given then we will continue as the rod the signs of Allah in nature those who believe and those who reject will be compared remembrance of Allah um, you know uh, makes the heart uh, at peace at rest uh, in tranquility prophets have been mocked two witnesses of the truth then we'll continue to Surah Ibrahim Quran leads to light Musa to deny the truth the um, Ibrahim and the respite in the end or you could say the leeway given by Allah um, so this is Sutum Yusuf now inshallah bismillah rahman rahim Allahumma la sahla illa ma ja'alta wa sahla wa ma ubarri nafsi inna nafsa ammara ammaratan bisu so she says now in some of these statements uh, are not uh, clear which part Allah said or did she say all of it or did Allah say some of it so ma ubarri'u nafsi I do not uh, you know uh, declare myself innocent ma ubarri'u nafsi I'm, I'm, I'm not innocent basically inna nafs al-ammarata bisu indeed the nafs it entices a person to the wrong and amara means command so that part of yourself that like entices you quickly do this now right you know haste that part of yourself that's like that rea that's reactionary that part of your soul that's reactionary that part of yourself that entices you immediately to take action it, it usually entices you to something wrong you have to stand back and see what yourself is saying to yourself Illa ma may rahima rabbi, except for the one Allah has mercy upon. Inna rabbi ghafur rahim. Indeed, Allah is ghafur and rahim, forgiving and merciful. Now, it's possible that she said, Umma ubarri unafsi. She said only this much. Or she said, Ma ubarri unafsi inna nafsal ammaratan bisu illa ma rahima rabbi. She said this, but then Allah says, Inna rabbi ghafur rahim. Or it's possible she said the whole statement. So now the king, once his name was cleared, so now the king said, bring him to me. Let me, let me make him specifically for me, exclusively for me. Let me make him khalis for me, specifically for me. He will be my right hand man. So when he spoke to him, قَالَ So when he spoke to him, what? He spoke to him, he told him the history of everything that had happened. So they both had a talk and he gave his story, what happened in his life, how he got here, how he ended up in jail. قَالَ إِنَّكَ الْيَوْمَ لَدَيْنَا مَكِينٌ أَمِينٌ So the king said, indeed, today you are مَكِي لَدَيْنَا with me, with us. Meaning the, you could say the establishment. مَكِينٌ amin. You're established and I mean you are trusted <coughs> so now this must have been a very frank conversation so Yusuf says make me the treasurer basically make me appoint me over all the treasures of the earth that you have okay or the you could say the storehouses Inni Hafizun al Alim, I am indeed uh, good at protecting things and a good guardian, you could say, and knowledgeable. And this is how Allah says, We established Yusuf on earth. And then he was able to, after that, settle in that land of Egypt where. Or where wherever this dynasty was in that area. He was able to live wherever he wanted. 
نصيب برحمته من نشاء and we uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we touch people with our mercy whenever we will لا نضيع أجر المحسنين and we do not allow the reward of the good doing people to be wasted to be lost والأجر الآخرة خير للذين آمنوا وكانوا يتقون and the reward of the people who believe in the akhirah is better and those who have taqwa وجاء إخوة يوسف فخلوا عليه فعرفهم وهم له منكرون and so the brothers of Yusuf alayhi sallallahu alayhi sallam came back to you know get food right and when they entered دخلوا عليه فعرفهم so when they entered him he recognized these are my brothers right but وهم وهم له منكرون but they didn't recognize him. وَهُمْ لَهُ مُنْكِرُونَ And he was to them unknown, nothing that they recognized. وَلَمَّا جَهَزَهُمْ بِجِهَازِهِمْ And when they had, you know, made all their supplies ready for them, when they got all their supplies ready, قَالَ يَعْتِينِي بِأَخِلْ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَبِيكُمْ so now, they were asking for, you know, measurement based upon the entire family, but they hadn't brought one brother. And he said, look, I don't know if you really have this brother, basically. You have to bring him so I know that you do have this brother, so I can give you, you know, the worth, uh, the prop, the measurement that you're asking for. And he, and then, أَلَا تَرَوْنَ do you not see that I give full measure? And I uh, and, and I'm willing to come down to what you want and what you're demanding, but you just have to show your brother to me. And maybe he said something like, you don't have to come bring him every time, just show him, bring him one time with yourself in the journey, and then that'll be it. You don't have to bring him again. Allahu a'alam. fala kayla lakum. If you don't bring me your 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 brother, Binyamin, okay, or Benjamin, if you don't bring him to me, then there's no measure for you, right? in the fala takrabun, and you will, uh, and you will fala takrabuni. Then don't come near me, okay? Because you were lying. And if you're lying, then I'm not going to, you know, then don't come near me anyway. قَالَ سَنُرَاوِدُ عَنْهُ أَبَاهُ وَإِنَّا لَفَاعِلُونَ They said, we will try. سَنُرَاوِدُ عَنْهُ أَبَاهُ We will try to get our father uh, from keeping him. Okay? سَنُرَاوِدُ عَنْهُ أَبَاهُ وَإِنَّ لَفَاعِلُونَ And, you know, we will definitely do this. We will do this. We will bring him. وَقَالَ لِفِتْيَتِهِ جَعَلُوا بِدْعَاتُهُمْ فِي رِحَالِهِمْ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَعْرِفُونَهَا And Yusuf said to his servant, put their, their merchandise جعلوا بذعاتهم في رحالتهم so put their merchandise into the saddle so that they may recognize it بذعاتهم في رحالهم لعلهم يعرفونها so Yusuf alayhi sallatu wa sallam wanted to do something that would ensure that they come back and so the you know whatever they had they were there to get the the measurement of the crops that they needed for their family right so Yusuf told the people that were working, the, the slaves or somebody that was there, some young men that were there, that put back, you know, because they were exchanging. Okay, give us the crops and we'll give you this. So maybe they had brought something, some maybe some things to exchange. So Yusuf he said, let put back everything that they gave back into their own merchandise 
so that they will know that this is a favor I did to them. And then he was hoping, إِذَنْ قَلَبُوا إِلَىٰ أَهْلِهِمْ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْجِعُونَ So that when they go back, they'll come back to me, recognizing that I did this. Maybe they'll come back thinking that, oh, uh, we didn't pay, or, or something of this nature. Or, or as an ihsan, as a, uh, they'll re recognize that Yusuf والسلام, did them, afforded them an extra, uh, you could say, goodness to them, showed charity towards them, kindness towards them. وَقَالَ لِفَتَى لِفِتْيَتِهِ فِتْيَا وَقَالَ لِفِتْيَانِهِ And he said to his servants, اِجْعَلُوا بِدْعَاتُهُمْ فِي رِحَالِهِمْ Go ahead, put back the merchandise that they had brought back into their saddles. لَعَلَّهُمْ يَعْرِفُونَهُ يَعْرِفُونَهُ So they'll come to know it, they'll come to recognize it, that this is a favor that Yusuf has done. إِذَنْ قَلَبُوا إِلَىٰ أَهْلِهِمْ And uh, when they have returned back to their uh, family in Qalabu, لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْجِعُونَ Then perhaps this will bring them back over here. فَلَمَّا رَجَعُوا إِلَىٰ أَبِيهِمْ So now when they went back to their father, قَالُوا يَا أَبَانَا مُنِيَا مِنَّا كَيْلَىٰ So they said to their dad, dad, you know, we were prevented, right? Or we were rather denied from the measurement of the portion that belongs to our brother because they they wanted a verification. Now they know already what happened with Yusuf, so now they're saying, let our brother come with us, نقتل, and we, we will get our measurement this way. We'll get the full, you know, one whole person's worth is not being given to the family for a few months. So now, you know, this is going to be tough. نَقْتَلْ وَإِنَّ لَهُ لَحَافِذُونَ And we are over him protectors. قَالْ هَلْ آمَنُكُمْ عَلَيْهِ كَمَا آمَنْتُكُمْ عَلَىٰ أَخِيهِ مِنْ قَبْلِ So Ya'qub alayhi salatu wasalam, he says, هَلْ آمَنَكُمْ إِلَيْهِ Should I trust you in regards to this? إِلَّا كَمَا آمَنْتُمْ عَلَىٰ أَخِيهِ مِنْ يُسُفْ Like, are you going to... You know, should I uh, trust you with him? Except the same way that I trusted you before with his brother. فَاللَّهُ خَيْرُ حَافِزًا But no, Allah, I trust Allah. وَهُوَ أَرْحَمُ الرَّاحِمِينَ And he's the most merciful of the mercy. Merciful. The most merciful of... He's the one who shows the most mercy of the merciful ones. فَلَمَّا فَطَهُوا مَتَاعُهُمْ وَجَدُوا بِدْعَاتُهُمْ رُدَّتْ إِلَيْهِمْ so when they opened their bags, okay, and they found that that merchandise that had been returned back to them, the thing that they had given to Yusuf to exchange for the crops that they'd gotten had been given back to them. They said, so now they open the saddle bags and they find their merchandise there. This means that, you know, if you go on a long journey, you know, a few months, and you have money with you that you're going to pay to get crops so you can eat, you know, if that all money has been paid back to you, now you have like really a lot of extra money comparatively. So, قَالُوا abana مَا مَا نَبْغِي They said, oh father, this is what we would want. This is like great. هَذِي بِدْعَاتُنَا رُدَّتْ إِلَيْنَا This is our merchandise returned back to us. نَمِيرُ أَحْلُ أَحْلَنَا Now we can really get provision. We can afford to like get provisions for our family. وَنَحْفِزْ أَخَانَا And we will definitely protect our brother. What Nazdadu Kayla Bair and we will increase, you know, the camel load, right, of the provisions. This is an easy load or easy measurement that we can do easily. We can afford to do this now. Now Yaqub he says, Allah. He says, لَنْ يُرْسِلْهُ مَعَكُمْ I will not send bin Yamin with you. حَتَّى تُؤْتِينِ Until you come to me with مَوْثِقًا مِنَ اللَّهِ Until you bring to me like a uh, a promise, a covenant with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. لَتَأْتُنَّ نِيبِهِ That you will definitely bring him back to me. إِلَّا أَنْ يُحَاتِبَكُمْ Except, you know, you should be like, you know, you're surrounded by enemies and then something happens. Okay, that's just the exception. 
فَلَمَّا أَتَاهُمْ مَوْثِقَهُمْ When they gave their covenant to him, their promise to him, قَالَ اللَّهُ عَلَى مَا نَقُولُ وَكِيلٌ And Allah is the one who is the guardian over what we say. He is the disposer of what we say. He is the one who will watch this oath that you have taken with, with me. وَقَالَ يَا بُنَيَّ لَا تَدْخُلُوا مِنْ أَبْوَابٍ وَاحِدٍ وَادْخُلُوا مِنْ أَبْوَابِ الْمُتَفَرِّقَةِ And, and then Yaqub said, he advising his children, don't enter all of you. You know, you have this whole big family, right? You know, of of, uh, of nine brothers or now. So don't just go all of you as one big family from one gate. This will make people jealous or will have ayn, the evil eye. وَدْخُلُ الْأَبْوَابَ مُتَفَرِّقَ Go from different gates. This is the safer way also in terms of security. But uh, instead of going as one big group and then, you know, people have their eyes on you, it's better just to go into small little groups into the different doors and enter the city this way. مَا يُغْنِي عَنْكُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ شَيْئًا And you cannot, uh, you cannot benefit. مَا يُغْنِي عَنْكُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ شَيْئًا If Allah decides to do something, you, you cannot do anything about it. But, you know, these are things in this world of cause and effect you take advantage of in al hukmu illa lillah there is no command other than the command of allah wa alayhi tawakkaltu and on him i put my trust wa alayhi falyatawakkal al mutawakkilun and on him trust the ones who trust okay so falamma dakhalu min haythu amarahum abuhum ma kana yughni anhum min allah shay'a illa hajatan fi nafsi yaqub qadaha فَلَمَّا دَخَلُوا مِنْ حَيْثُ أَمَرَهُمْ أَبُوهُمْ And when they entered from the place where their father had entered them, meaning in from the different doors, وَمَا كَانَ يُغْنِي عَنْهُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ شَيْئًا And this was not to benefit them. I mean, they cannot benefit themselves other than what Allah has written for a person. What Allah has intended to do is only what will happen. مِنَ اللَّهِ إِلَّا حَاجَةً فِي نَفْسِ يَعْقُوبِ قَضَاهَا إِلَّا except حَاجَةً فِي نَفْسِ يَعْقُوبِ This is an interesting ayah. Except that it was a need within the soul of Ya'qub. قَضَاهَا So he did it. His soul was telling him something to do this. So they did it. And then إِنَّهُ لَذُو عِلْمٍ لِمَا عَلَّمْنَاهُ وَلَكِنْ أَكْثَرَ النَّاسِ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ And he was a possessor of إِنَّهُ لَذُو عِلْمٍ لِمَا عَلَّمْنَاهُ He was a possessor of knowledge in regards to what we had taught him. وَلَكِنْ أَكْثَرَ النَّاسِ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ But most people did not know this. This ayah shows the relationship between the world of cause and effect that we live in and whatever is destined is destined is going to happen. مَا كَانَ يُغْنِي عَنْهُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ شَيْئًا What is, you can take all the precautions in the world of cause and effect but what is written is written it will happen. And Yaqub knew this but still you have to take the precautions. Now when they, you know, they came before Yusuf, all the brothers, they didn't recognize Yusuf yet. But he then, So he took for himself his brother. So he took his brother to the side. So he said to him, look, I'm your brother Yusuf. He's now disclosed his identity. وَلَا تَبْتَئِسْ بِمَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ And don't despair over what they've been doing, right? Now, those days are gone where they will be able to hurt you or oppress you or make things difficult for you because also it may be known that the, the brothers were on from one mother and then Binyamin and Yusuf were from another mother. So there was also this, you could say, an internal tribal rivalry that was also going on Allahu A'lam فَلَمَّا جَهَزَهُمْ بِجِهَازِهِمْ So when he had finished with them their supplies so now they had come and you know done whatever they had to do جَعَلَ سِقَايَ فِي رَحْلِهِ رَحْلَ رَحْلِ أَخِيهِ ثُمَّ أَذَنَ مُؤَذِّنٌ أَيَّتُهَا الْعِيرُ إِنَّكُمْ لَسَارِقُونَ So when they finished now he put uh, you know, a, uh, a measuring, okay? جَعَلَ سَقَايَةَ فِي رَحْلَ أَخِيهِ 
So now they were there with Yusuf. They got everything prepared. They put it there. And ja'ala saqayata li rahla, rahla, rahla akhihi. Saqaya, this was a drinking cup. And uh, according to narrations, it was a gold uh, drinking cup that perhaps the king used to use for his drinking his uh, wine or whatever. Fi rahla akhihi. Then, you know, they're now going back. Okay, so they've already turned. They're on their way. Now, from somebody from behind makes a call. He says, Oh, caravan that just left, come come back. You guys are thieves. Come back. So now they turn back. They say, What? What is it that you, you're missing? What is it that you're talking about? Right? They said we're missing the, the measure of the king or the drinking cup of the king. And whoever comes, whoever finds that cup for the drinking of the king, he'll get a one load of a camel's uh, worth of, you know, produce. And Abihi Zaim and Yusuf said, I am the one who guarantees this. Now, obviously, this was a great source of stress. They said, the brother said, Well, Tallahi, by Allah, you already know. We've not caused, come to cause corruption in the world. Okay, we haven't caused it come here to cause problems. And we're not thieves. Okay? Sorry. What will be the reward of those people that who are lying? And you're saying you're not lying? Okay, what should be the recompense? What should be the reward of the people if they're lying? What do you think should be the reward? The brother said the the compensation uh, for the one who stole it, it will be himself. L let him become like a worker for you. He himself will be the uh, He himself will be the uh, the compensation for that. This is how the wrongdoers should be uh, facing their punishments. That he would have to do, uh, you know, hard labor or, or he would be kept in prison or something like this. So, he started with He started with their bags, the other brothers. Before he looked at the bag of his brother. Then he took the, uh, the drinking cup out from the bag of his brother. There are two important uh, things in this ayah. This is the first one. And this is how we plotted, you could say, for Yusuf. This is how we planned for Yusuf. Meaning, this may seem a little deceptive. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us and protecting the status of the Nubu'a, the prophethood. After all, when Yusuf said, what will be the reward of the people who do this? They are them themselves that, that said, uh, the, the reward of the, the recompense is that person himself. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kind of like helped Yusuf والسلام, along in this process. And then the other important point, This is very important. And it was not for Yusuf. You know, in the field that he was in charge, which was the field of the treasury and the stores and the, all this, he was an important person and he had control. But then a lot of these other, uh, you could say, fields that are not exactly his field, he had to go according to the books, according to the law of the king. Whatever the law stated, then that he had to follow that. So, ما كان لِيَأْخُذَ أَخَاهُ It was not for Yusuf to take his brother في دين الملك إلا أن يشاء الله By the deen or the king, uh, by the system of the king, by the deen of the king. أَخَاهُ في دين الملك By the deen of the malik. إلا أن يشاء الله Or accept whatever Allah willed. For example, uh, when the deen of Allah is established, 
when the system of Allah is established in the world, that's called Deenullah. What we have today is Deenul Jamhur, the Deen or the system that runs by majority opinion, so called, right? Deenul Jamhur. But Deenullah, Deenul Malik, Deenul Jamhur, the, the law of the king, Deenul Malik, that comes here, the Deen of Allah. إِذَا جَاءَ نَصُوا اللَّهِ وَالْفَتْوَ وَرَأَيْتَ النَّاسِ يَدْخُلُونَ فِي دِينِ اللَّهِ You will enter, see people entering into the deen of Allah. And then deen al-jamhur, what we have today, the system that's based upon majority rule, that's deen al-jamhur. Okay? وَمَا كَانَ لِيَأْخُذَ أَخَاهُ فِي دِينِ الْمَلِكِ It was not for Yusuf that he would take his brother in the deen of the king. إِلَّا أَنْ يَشَاء Except whatever we will. نَرْفَعُ دَرَجَاتٍ مَنْ نَشَاءُ And we raise the ranks of whoever we will. وَفَوْقَ وَفَوْقَ كُلِّ ذِي عِلْمٍ عَلِيمٍ And on every, above every knowledgeable one is the most knowledgeable one, meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. قَالُوا إِنْ يَسْرِقْ فَقَدْ سَرَقَ أَخٌ لَهُ مِنْ قَبْلِ So they said, now in order to protect themselves, you know, they kind of like betrayed this young brother. So, and, and they said something very strange. قَالُوا إِنْ يَسْرَقْ if he is stolen, فَقَدْ سَرَقَ أَخٌ لَهُ مِنْ قَبْلِ Then his brother. So they're also showing that we're, we are one group. And these two brothers, meaning Yusuf and Bin Yamin, was another group from another mother. And kind of like, oh, if instead of like defending their brother, we don't know him to be a, uh, somebody who steals or something of this nature. فَقَدْ سَرَقَ أَخٌ لَهُ مِنْ قَبْلِ His brother, meaning Yusuf, stole before. فَأَسَرَّهَا يُوسُفْ بِنَفْسِهِ so Yusuf kept this to himself. He didn't say anything. And he didn't open it up to them that, hey, this is me and I know what you're lying about me. And he said to himself, you guys are the one who are in a worse place than, than my brother. I did that to him. And now you're uh, accusing him, right, instead of defending him. And Allah knows best about what you describe because Obviously, Yusuf was not a stealer, and uh, so he kept this to himself. But now they had to go back, right? So they, after like taunting their brother uh, of uh, in that way, but now they had to deal with their dad. So they said, "Qalu ya ayuhal aziz, O minister." Inna lahu aban shaykhan. Look, he has a very old father. Now imagine Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam. He is going to hear about his dad, right? That has been separated from him for a long time now. Inna lahu aban shaykhan kabiran. For he, he has a father that's very old, right? Oldness has manifested in him. Fakhuz ahadana makanahu. But take one of us instead of him. Inna naraka min al muhsinin. We see you to be of a good person. So please do this for us. Allah, he said, I seek refuge from Allah. Except that we should take the one who we found the merchandise from. We'll only take him. If we did what you said, we would be of the wrongdoers. We're not going to do that. So when they were completely like, they had, they felt that there's no hope in trying to, you know, so when they had now become, you know, pretty much, so when they had become hopeless that they could do anything about the situation, minhu khalasu najiya. So then they separated themselves and started to talk. Qala kabiruhum alam ta'alamu anna abakum qad akhada alaykum mawthiqan min Allah. Do you not know the bigger one said? And perhaps this is the same bigger one who also said, don't kill him, just put him in the well. And he's the one who had a little bit, you can say, of the brothers, a little bit more taqwa compared to the other brothers that were there. That Allah has taken, that he, your father has taken a promise with Allah, in Allah's name from you. وَمِنْ قَبْلُ مَا فَرَّطْتُمْ فِي يُوسُفِ And what was your fault regarding Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam? لَنْ نَبْرَهَ الْأَرْضِ حَتَّى يَعْذَنَ لِي أَبِي I am not leaving this place. Okay? حَتَّى يَعْذَنَ, يعذن, يعذن لِي أَبِي Until my father gives me permission. أَوْ يَحْكُمُ اللَّهُ لِي وَهُوَ خَيْرُ الْحَاكِمِينَ Or Allah decides something for me. I'm not leaving. 
Okay. So you go back and you talk to your dad. I'm not leaving. I'm staying right here. Okay. وَهُوَ خَيْرُ الْحَاكِمِينَ And Allah is the best of judges. اِرْجِعُوا إِلَىٰ أَبِيكُمْ And he said, go back to your father. فَقَالُوا يَا أَبَانَا إِنَّ بْنَكَ سَرَقْ And say, dear dad, your, your son has stolen. وَمَا شَهِدْنَا إِلَّا مَا عَلِّمْنَا And we, are, we don't testify to anything except what we know. We just, what we know we're telling you. That they caught him for stealing. That's it. إِلَّا مَا عَلِّمْنَا مَا عَلِمْنَا وَمَا كُنَّا لِلْغَيْبِ حَافِزِينَ And we are not protectors of the unseen. We don't know what really happened. وَاسْأَلْ قَرْيَةَ الَّتِي كُنَّا فِيهَا You can, oh, pro, uh, dear dad, you can even ask the nearby uh, villages of, because the news may have spread. This may have been a big deal. And uh, you can even ask the nearby villages what the news is from Egypt regarding this situation. وَاسْئِلْ الْقَرْيَ الَّتِي كُنَّا فِيهَا وَالْعِيرَ الَّتِي قَبَلْنَا فِيهَا And uh, the caravans, uh, you know, which we قَبَلْنَا uh, The ones we met along the way, you can ask them also إِنَّا لَصَادِقُونَ Indeed, we are truthful. Okay? So over here, uh, Yaqub alayhi salatu wasalam, he says بَلْ صَوَّلَتْ لَكُمْ أَنفُسَكُمْ أَمْرَى He already said the same sentence before when the event of Yusuf said, happened. You know, it's one thing that, uh, like, a person dies, his son dies, and then you bury your son, and then you know he died, and then you get over it. But when his son is, for example, kidnapped, you, or he's lost, then that's more harder on a parent. That's much more harder on a parent. So it happened with one son. Now he, he feels as if, you know, the same associations are being made. Now, Binyamin's also missing. So now this brings back that whole feeling and that whole like you know the past and it opens up a lot of a lot of pain that was there. So now he has pain for two children, and especially Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam. قَالَ بَلْ سَوَّلَتْ لَكُمْ أَنفُسَكُمْ أَمْرًا فَصَبْرٌ جَمِيلٌ You know his father said your souls have enticed you to do something whatever you have done. فَصَبْرٌ جَمِيلٌ أَسَأَ اللَّهُ أَنْ يَأْتِيَنِ بِهِمْ جَمِيعًا This is the hope in Allah. This is the opinion he had of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. After all of this, despite the entire grief, the, the depth of the grief he had, that he had, but asa Allahu, it perhaps Allah, and ya'tiya bihim jami'a, Allah will bring them back to me. He, it seems, because the story, the, the dream of Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam also suggests this, and it seems from the text that he knew somehow that Yusuf hadn't died, or and that he, one day, one day, that God willing that Yusuf والسلام, would come back to his dad. إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْعَلِيمُ الْحَكِيمُ Indeed, Allah is uh, Al-Alim Al-Hakim. He knows everything and he has wisdom for everything. So he has his reasons for why he does. You know, what did these people know that later on this story would be mentioned in Quran and it would become a source of wisdom for everyone to learn from this event. And if you remember in the beginning of the surah, ayat uh, al-Nisa'ilin, in this surah is uh, Answer signs for the people who ask questions about why things happen and uh, and about life and just general questions. عنهم, and he turned away from them. And in turning away from them, he said, Yusuf. He turned away and he said, Oh, what sorrow over Yusuf. عينه, and his eyes became white. Min huzni, and he, his eyes became white from grief and he was really very good at suppressing the anger or feelings he had. He kept it inside himself. He didn't show his feelings, you know. He, he, he really, whatever sorrow he felt, he just kept it in, inside himself because this was between him and Allah. He was trusting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it was a very difficult thing. This ayah is extremely interesting where it says, أَبْيَطْ عَيْنُهُ مِنَ الْحُزْنِ وَهُوَ كَظِيمٌ and his eyes became white out of grief. And this was because he was suppressing himself. Now, there are many things that make eyes white. Okay, But what is interesting is that there's a psychological factor clearly here. He's repressing, he's suppressing his feelings. Uh, and there's something in, in, in psychology called psychoschematic. And psychoschematic a lot of times affects your eyes. We're going to see this. And that is that... Uh, you know, when you 
feel pain instead of uh, because it's the same brain the same molecules okay working over here so instead of let's say you feel emotional pain but instead of the emotion you feeling emotional pain because you're suppressing it or something is going on internally then it manifests itself in a physical way in a physical form in fact a lot of uh, issues like pain a lot of pain is psychoschematic it's not because there's actually a problem in let's say you feel your pain in your hand it's not like you take an x-ray and actually find where the pain is in the hand because it's not happening because of a physical thing on your hand it's happening because somewhere your emotions are now manifesting themselves instead of feelings they're manifesting themselves as a physical thing and so so Yusuf turned from them Yusuf you know what a grief over Yusuf and his eyes became white because he was suppressing those feelings inside himself so over here I just want to show you um, this is a case study psychoschematic eye disorders and there's many 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 cases uh, that look into this that because of your emotional feeling how it affects your that your eyes fall into a disorder Okay, and it's also interesting just to keep in mind that eyes particularly because these eyes were thirsty to see who Yusuf والسلام, So they're the ones that got affected uh, This is also an eye disease Arcus senilis. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right but appears as a white, gray, or blue ring on the arc around the cornea of the eye. Um, I didn't put a picture here because it doesn't look too nice. Uh, white glow in pupil could reveal eye disease. That can also happen. Uh, this is all about white spots. Um, relationship of dry eye disease with depression and anxiety. That's also there. So there is a lot of things that could it, it could have been. But like I said, in my feeling, it was probably the suppression and psychoschematic disease that caused uh, this situation of Yaqub alayhi salatu was salam. قَالُوا تَاللَّهِ تَفْتَرُوا تَذْكِرُوا يُوسُفْ حَتَّى تَكُونَ حَرَضًا أَوْ تَكُونَ مِنَ الْحَالِكِينَ And they said, by Allah, you will not cease remembering تَفْتَعُوا ذِكْرَ يُوسُفْ You will not stop thinking about Yusuf. Until you're fatally ill, okay? Or you'll just kill yourself in this grief that you're in because of Yusuf But they knew it as children, but he wasn't showing, he was, he, like Allah said already, he was, he was suppressing, he wasn't showing it to people. Yusuf said, despite all the internal pain and the emotional pain and you know the real pain is is the emotional pain I only complain my suffering and my grief my 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 complaint regarding my grief and my my suffering is to Allah and I know from Allah which you don't know again Here's an indication that perhaps he did know something that he had not yet disclosed to them either. Ya bunayya idhabu fatahassasu min Yusuf wa akhi. So he said, oh my sons, go and find out about Yusuf. Go and find out about him and his brother. Wa akhihi. Wa la tayasu min rawhi Allah. And despair does not fall regarding Allah. Okay. Uh, except uh, don't ever become hopeless regarding the uh, the relief from Allah none become hopeless of the of the of the relief from Allah help from Allah except for the people who don't believe فَلَمَّا دَخَلُوا عَلَيْهِ قَالُوا يَا, يا أَيُّهَا الْعَزِيزُ مَسَّنَا وَأَهْلَنَا ضُرُّ وَجِعْنَا بِبِدْعَةٍ مُزْجَانٍ So they came upon Yusuf alayhi salam. So they go back and they come upon Yusuf and they say يَا عَزِيزُ مَسَّنَا أَهْلَنَا وَأَهْلَنَا ضُرٌّ 
something evil has touched. You know, this this situation has become very, very big suffering for our family. مزجان, and we brought some goods, uh, you know, مزجان, but they may be in uh, goods poor in quality. And they said, look, give us the full measure. We don't have much. And tasaddaq alayna and be kind to us, give us charity. In Allah yajzi mutasaddiqin. Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa taala gives to the people who give in charity. Qal hal alimtu ma faaltum bi Yusuf wa akhi. Now here is where Yusuf alayhi salatu salam discloses himself. Qal hal alimtu ma faaltum. Do you know what you did with Yusuf bi Yusuf wa akhihi and his brother? It's clear here uh, that they were not even treating their brother, his brother, Ibn Yamin, the younger brother, very nicely. Is antum jahilun when you were ignorant? Qalu a'innaka la anta Yusuf. They said, "Oh, you're you a'innaka in you you you're Yusuf." You know, like that. A'innaka that would have been enough. Qalu a'innaka Yusuf. You are Yusuf. A'innaka la anta Yusuf. Oh, you are Yusuf. You are Yusuf. Like you know, it's like it took a while for them to, or like a few seconds for them to, like, oh, you, you're Yusuf. Oh my God. Qalu ana Yusuf wa hada akhi. I am Yusuf, and this is my brother. But man, man, Allah alayna. Allah has done favors to us. Inna hu man yattaqi wa yasbir. Indeed, the one who has taqwa and does sabr. فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُسْنِهُ أَجْرَ الْمُحْسِنِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't put to the waste the actions of the good doers. قَالُوا تَاللَّهِ لَقَدْ آثَرَكَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْنَا They said by Allah, look at your position today. Allah has chosen you above us. وَإِنَّا كُنَّا لَخَاطِعِينَ And definitely we were the ones that were on the wrong. We are the ones that had made the mistake. قَالَتْ لَا تَضْرِيبَ عَلَيْكُمُ الْيَوْمِ so Yusuf said, and this is what the Prophet said when he conquered Makkah. He said, لَا تَضْرِيبَ عَلَيْكُمُ الْيَوْمِ And this story, by the way, is about the Prophet conquering Makkah. It is about how he, his family betrayed him, but he will come back and show kindness and ihsan to his family. قَالَ لَا تَضْرِيبَ عَلَيْكُمُ الْيَوْمِ There's no blame upon you today. يَغْفِرُ لِيَغْفِرَ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ Allah will in forgive you. وَهُوَ أَرْحَمُ الرَّاحِمِينَ Indeed, he is most merciful. Now, he says, go and take this shirt, right? Give this shirt to, put this shirt on your uh, father's, you know, put it so your father can smell it over his face. His eyesight will come back. وَأْتُونِي بِأَهْلِكُمْ أَجْمَعِينَ And go ahead, bring your entire family to Egypt. So this is how they went from Palestine to Egypt. Bani Israel, this is how they ended up there. فَلَمَّا فَصَلَتْ الْعِيرُ And when the caravan departed, okay, قَالَ أَبُوهُمْ إِنِّي لَأَجِدُ رِيحَ يُوسُفْ And when they, now the father is saying, Indeed, I find the smell of Yusuf, رِيحُ الْيُوسُفْ لَوْ لَا أَنْتُمْ تُفَنِّدُونَ And if you did not, you know, if you don't uh, think I'm weak, I've lost my mind. Don't, don't think I've lost my mind, but I can smell Yusuf. قَالَ اللَّهِ إِنَّكَ لَفِي ظَلَالٍ قَدِيمٍ They said, by Allah, indeed, you know, you, we find you in astray, in the wrong way. Your, your mind is not working. فَلَمَّا جَاءَ فَلَمَّا جَاءَ فَلَمَّا أَنْ جَاءَ الْبَشِيرُ الْأَلْقَى عَلَى وَجْهِ And so when the bearer of good news arrived, like one of the brothers, they came, أَلْقَى عَلَى وَجْهِهِ He put it over his father, فَرْطَدَّ بَصِيرًا So the eyesight came back. قَالَ He said, look, you were saying I'm crazy. قَالَ أَلَمْ أَقُلْ لَكُمْ Did I not say to you, إِنِّي أَعْلَمُ مِنَ اللَّهِ مَا لَا تَعْلَمُونَ I knew from Allah which you don't know. I knew it already. قَالُوا يَا أَبَانَا اسْتَغْفِرْ لَنَا ذُنُوبَنَا إِنَّا كُنَّا خَاطِئِينَ So then they said, O oh Father, please forgive, ask Allah for forgiveness from us. We have definitely been of the wrongdoers. إِنَّا كُنَّا خَاطِئِينَ We have been doing, we have been of the wrongdoers. قَالَ سَوْفَ أَسْتَغْفِرُ لَكُمْ رَبِّي 
He said, okay, I will ask Allah forgiveness soon. Sawfa astaghfiru lakum rabbi. Not immediately. Because, you know, he had feelings and, and he had to work through his feelings. And then he was going to, when his feelings had settled, then he was going to do dua for. Because this is like a moment of, you know, great emotional stress and, and the feelings that you actually did this. You tried to kill your and my son and all that is there. So he said, فَسَوْفَ قَالَ سَوْفَ أَسْتَغْفِرُ لَكُمْ رَبِّي إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ Indeed, Allah is Ghafoor and Allah is Rahim. فَلَمَّا دَخَلُوا عَلَى يُوسُفُ أَوَا إِلَيْهِ أَبِي أَبَوَيْهِ So when they entered upon Yusuf, he took his parents to himself. وَقَالَ And he, and, and, and he said, أُدْخُلُوا الْمِصْرَ إِن شَاءَ اللَّهُ آمِنِينَ He said, enter into the city. Misr doesn't mean Egypt, okay? Misr means city. But it could also mean Egypt. Obviously, it was Egypt. But Masr, Misr in itself means city. وَدْخُلُوا الْمِصْرَ إِن شَاءَ اللَّهُ آمِنِينَ Enter into the city in a state of Aman, peace. وَرَفَعَ أَبْوَيْهِ عَلَىٰ أَرْشِ And then so uh, Yusuf والسلام, raised his parents on, on a throne, you can say on an arsh, on a chair, okay? On a, an important looking chair or an arsh, like a throne, okay? And then, وَخَرُّ لَهُ سُجَّدًا And then they went into sujood. At this time, sujood was not made haram to, um, to other than, meaning it was, it was not haram. It was a sujood of respect to the parents in this case. قَالَ But after the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, sujood to any, any living thing uh, has been made haram and shirk. قَالَ يَا أَبَاتِي He said, Oh my dad, هَذَا تَعْوِلُ رُؤْيَا مِنْ قَبْلِ This is the um, the ta'wil, the result of the dream that I had from before, that Allah has now made come true. Ta'wilu ru'ya, the, the meaning of my dream, min qabul from before. Qad ja'alaha rabbi haqqa. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it come true. Wa qad ahsana rabbi id akhrajani min as sijin. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has done so much good to me since, since I came out of prison. Wa ja'a bikum. And Allah came to you to. Uh, brought you here in al badwi from the from the Bedouin life. Wa min ba'di nazaga shaytanu baini wa baina ikhwati. After shaytan had caused discord between me and my brothers. In the Rabbi Latifun lima yasha. In indeed Allah is subtle and caring uh, for whatever He wills. In Nahu wal Alim al Hakim. Indeed He is completely knowing and completely wise, all knowing, all wise. This dua now of Yusuf alayhi salatu wa salam. Rabbi qad ataytana min al-mulki. O oh Allah, you have indeed given me of, you can say, sovereignty, dominion, power, all these things. Wa allamtani min ta'wil al-ahadith. And you taught me how to interpret the events, how they happen. Fatir al-samawati wal-ard. You are the originator of the heavens and the earth. And the wali fi dunya wal-akhira. You are my wali, you are my protector, you are my friend in dunya and akhira. Tawafani musliman. Let me die as muslim. وَالْحِكْنِ بِالصَّالِحِينَ And place me with the righteous people. ذَلِكَ مِنْ أَنْبَاءِ الْغَيْبِ نُوحِي إِلَيْكَ These are of the unseen things that we reveal to you, that we have uh, re uh, given revelation to you about, O Prophet ﷺ. وَمَا كُنْتَ لَدَيْهِمْ You are not there with them. إِذْ, إذ أَجْمَعُ أَمْرَهُمْ وَهُمْ يَمْكُرُونَ and, and you are not there, right? When they, when they were putting their إِجْمَعُ Amrahum wa hum yamkurun. They were not there when they were putting plot their their affairs together and their plotting together. Like what? Like what? Quraysh is doing against you. But Allah is there, and Allah will take care of you, just like He took care of Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam. Wa ma akthar al nas illa harasta bi mu'minin. And most people will not become believers, even if you, your even though your desire for them to. Uh, your 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 hadith for you is you want them to become mu'min and believers, but they're not going to become. What ma tas aluhum alayhi min ajra, and you do not ask them for any reward for whatever you're teaching them is from Allah subhanahu wa taala, right? In huwa illa dhikrun lil alamin. This is just a reminder from the Lord of the worlds. Wa kai ka ayi min ayatin fi samawati wal ard yumruna alayha wa hum anha mu'ridun how many signs they see within the heavens and the earth you see the signs of Allah all day and all night long not in this modern time where we're always behind walls but if you were in the normal nature 
you would be seeing signs of Allah day and night. So, كَأَيِّ مِنْ آيَةٍ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ يُمْرُونَ عَلَيْهَا That you pass by them. وَهُمْ عَنْهَا مُعْرِضُونَ And they just turn away from that. Right? وَمَا يُؤْمِنُ أَكْثَرَهُمْ بِاللَّهِ إِلَّا هُمْ مُشْرِكُونَ And most of the people also don't believe except that they do shirk. Okay? فَآمِنُوا أَنْ يَأْتِيَهُمْ غَاشِيَةٌ مِنْ عَذَابِ اللَّهِ Do they feel secure? أَفَأَمِنُوا أَنْ يَأْتِيَهُمْ غَاشِيَةٌ مِنْ عَذَابِ اللَّهِ أَوْ يَأْتِيَهُمُ السَّعَى بَغْتَةً وَهُمْ لَا يَشْعُرُونَ Or do they think that they're secure and they will not come to them غَاشِيَةٌ مِنْ عَذَابِ اللَّهِ An overwhelming punishment from Allah. أَوْ يَأْتِيَهُمْ سَعَةٌ بَغْتَةً Or the hour will come to them suddenly. Or something overwhelming comes to them from the punishment of Allah. أَوْ يَأْتِيَهُمْ سَعَةٌ بَغْتَةً وَهُمْ لَا يَشْعُرُونَ And they don't even perceive this. They don't even see this. قَالَ قُلْ O Prophet ﷺ say, هَذِهِ سَبِيلِي This is my way. This is how to behave like Yusuf ﷺ. This is how to have sabr like Yaqub ﷺ. This is how I will behave with you when Allah gives me the victory over you. And you will have to then surrender to the will of Allah at that time. قُلْ هَذِهِ سَبِيلِي And also in general, this is my way. أَدُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ I call you to Allah. أَلَا بَصِيرَةٍ With full insight. أَنَا وَمَنِ اتَّبَعَانِي Me and those who follow me. Those I, follow, I call Allah with full insight. And those that are with me, they also have full insight. They're not blind followers. They have a conscious awareness of what they believe in. سُبْحَانَ اللَّهِ وَمَا أَنَا مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ Allah is perfect and I'm... And, and, and I am not of those that do shirk with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ قَبْلِكَ إِلَّا رِجَالًا نُوهِ إِلَيْهِ مِنْ أَهْلِ الْقُرَى And we have وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ قَبْلِ إِلَّا رِجَالًا نُوهِ إِلَيْهِ And we've not sent except a man that we give revelation right إِلَيْهِ مِنْ أَهْلِ الْقُرَى of the people of the town. أَفَلَمْ يَصِيرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ Do you not travel the earth? فَيَنْزُلُ كَيْفَ كَانَ عَاقِبَةُ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ See what was the result of the people before them. وَالْدَارُ الْآخِرَةُ خَيْرٌ لِلَّذِينَ اتَّقَوْ And for the people that have taqwa, the akhirah will be much better than anything that can be given on earth. أَفَلَا تَعْقِلُونَ Do you not ponder? Do you not think? Do you not use your brains? Right? حَتَّى إِذَا إِسْتَيْأَسَ الرُّسُولُ وَذَنُّ أَنَّهُمْ قَدْ كَذَّبُوا وَجَاءَهُمْ نَصْرُنَا Until a prophet of Allah, he loses hope. These people are not going to believe now. وَذَنَّ أَنَّهُمْ قَدْ قَذَّبُوا And then he has, he's become 100% sure that they have now denied him. They're not going to believe. وَجَاءَتْهُمْ نَصْرُنَا And then our help comes to the prophet of Allah. فَنُنْجِيَ مَنْ نَشَاءَ And then we save whoever we will. Those of them that wanted to, uh, Allah wanted to believe, they'll believe. وَلَا يُرُدُّ بَعْصُنَا عَنِ الْقَوْمِ الْمُجْرِمِينَ And then our punish cannot be returned or repelled from a people and قَوْمِ الْمُجْرِمِينَ for a people that are criminals. لَقَدْ كَانَ فِي قَصَصِهِمْ إِبْرَةٌ لِأُولِ الْأَلْبَابِ Indeed, in this story, okay, there is an ibra, there is a lesson, okay, for people of pure understanding. مَا كَانَ حَدِيثًا يُفْتَرَى This is not something that's made up events. These are not made up events, okay? وَلَكِنْ تَصْدِيقَ الَّذِي بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ But in fact, it is a confirmation what was what is before you, meaning in the previous books. تَصْدِيقَ الَّذِي بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ وَتَفْصِيلَ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ And it is an explanation of all things. وَهُدًا وَرَحْمَةً And it is huda, guidance, and rahmah, and mercy from Allah. May Allah make this reading for us a mercy from Him, and a guidance from Him. لِقَوْمِ يُؤْمِنُونَ For people that will believe. Allahumma ja'alna minhum. And so, alhamdulillahi bi'izzatihi wa jalali tatimmu al-salihat. Alhamdulillah tatimmu surat al-Yusuf. And inshallah we will now continue on the next surah. So inshallah ta'ala now we start this surah inshallah. So, بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب الشحل صدري ويسر لي أمر وحل الأقدة من لسان يفقه قولي. So now, just as a review of kind of everything, so you have فاتحة in which you're asking for guidance. Then Allah سبحانه وتعالى says ذلك الكتاب. This is the book in which there's guidance. And then the Sharia, the blueprint Sharia is سطل بكرة سطل عالمران سطل نساء سطل مائدة. 
and two of these surahs particularly the first two Bakra and al imran is talking uh, Bakra is talking to the to the uh, bani israel and the al imran is talking to the christians then in surah uh, nisa and maida you have a general conversation with ahlul kitab but specific reference to uh, also isa alayhi okay so you have a conversation with ahlul kitab in these four surahs and then you have the blueprint of the sharia in these four surahs then you have two surahs surah al-anam and uh, surah al-a'raf in which some aspects of the sharia continue but uh, the the Quraysh were demanding where is this uh, sign of Allah that we want to see we want to see a miracle from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and so the, that's the Surah Al-Araf Surah Al-Anam and Surah Al-Araf then two surahs Surah Al-Anfal and Surah Al-Tawbah which is the first installment of the punishment of disbelieving the Prophet and then finally the victory where they had no choice but to accept Islam this was specific for the Prophet وسلم, that we read in Surah Al-Tawbah then now after that two more surahs again uh, the issue is uh, that a messenger comes. If you disobey the messenger, then you are going to be eliminated. So you have Surah uh, Yunus and Surah Al-Hud and then Surah Yusuf. So you have three surahs and three surahs. Now you're going to have Surah We had Surah uh, Yunus and Surah Al-Hud that are twin surahs. And then Surah Yusuf that is like a surah that is unique in itself. Okay. Now over here, again, we're going to, st we're going to have Three, three again, three surahs again. We're going to start with Surah Al-Rad, Surah Al-Ibrahim. These are, you could say, twin surahs. Okay? And so you'll see the relationship between these two surahs, uh, inshallah, also. And then again, you'll have one more surah, Surah Al-Hajr, I believe, that will be unique. Okay? So, in the name of Allah, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alif, Lam, Alif, Lam, Mim, Ra. Tilka ayatul kitab, these are the ayat, these are the signs of the book. And in this surah, You'll find in Surah Rad over here the uh, the Taskir bi Allah illa. Look at my creation. Look at what I've created. Okay, so these are the two modes the Quran uses in very general way. Either Allah is pointing to His creation, look at my creation and recognize me, or look at my messengers. What happened in history with with regards to them, and you better be careful also because Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is watching over the criminals, and the criminals are those people that deny what. Uh, deny the signs of Allah. The criminals are the people that reject the message of, of the prophets after it's been made clear to them and after they know it's the truth and they still reject it out of their arrogance. So these are the two basic themes. So, تِلْكَ آيَاتُ الْكِتَابِ These are the signs of the book. وَالَّذِي أُنزِلَ إِلَيْكَ مِنْ رَبِّكَ And uh, it is what has been revealed to you. وَالَّذِي أُنزِلَ إِلَيْكَ And what has been revealed to you from your Lord. مِنْ رَبِّكَ الْحَقِّ وَلَكِنْ أَكْثَرَ النَّاسِ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ But most people, they don't believe. Now these surahs are also small, relatively speaking. 45 ayahs, like around 40, 50 ayahs like this. اللَّهُ الَّذِي رَفَعَ السَّمَاوَاتِ بِغَيْرٍ أَمَدٍ تَرَوْنَهَا Very interesting. Allah is the one who has raised the skies بِغَيْرِ أَمَدٍ Without pillars. تَرَوْنَهَا That you see. So this is the gravitational pull between uh, the star from one star to another star. It creates like a column. It creates a force field. It creates a support that by which these structures they stick together or and are aligned together. Uh, but they they are not like normal pillars that you can see. But this is an unseen pillar, and this is a great scientific fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned here in this ayah. ثُمَّ اسْتَوَى عَلَى الْأَرْشِ And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sat on him to control and, and establish his throne. وَالسَّخَرَ الشَّمْسَ وَالْقَمَرِ And he, had, he uh, has control and he has, uh, uh, you know, given control and, and Allah has ordained, you can say. Okay, given control. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. وَالسَّخَرَ الشَّمْسَ وَالْقَمَرِ And he subjected and these are all traveling in their orbits to a certain time. يُدَبِّرُ الْأَمْرَ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who makes the planning. How the affairs will happen, how the commands will happen. Allah makes the tadbir of this, how it will happen. وَيُفَصِّلُ الْآيَاتِ لَعَلَّكُمْ بِلِقَاءِ رَبِّهِمْ يُوْقِنُونَ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clarifies for you his ayat so that you will have you have complete certainty in meeting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in meeting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he is the one who has extended the earth 
uh, at first the earth was smaller then as time went by the earth because of as water came in the earth kind of like uh, uh, became more bigger extended and then he put in there in, in its place the, in, in the in the earth the mountains and then the, then there were these rivers that also were flowing and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made from the uh, from the fruits you know two of each you know each uh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made two of each uh, pair okay يُغْشِلْ لَيْلَ وَالنَّهَارِ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who covers the night and the day. Meaning He causes the spinning of the... He causes the night to cover the uh, day. يُغْشِلْ لَيْلَ النَّهَارِ Okay? Uh, he causes the night to cover the day. The default in the universe is it's mostly dark. So so the light is the exception. So the night covers the day. إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتٍ لِقَوْمِ يَتَفَكَّرُونَ Indeed, the, in this are signs for people that ponder into those that think. وفي الأرض قطع متجاوز وجنات من أعناب وزرع ونخيل صنوان غير غير صنوان وفي الأرض قطع and in the earth they are قطع they are parts so that you can I actually like the translation here you can have neighboring plots this is actually في الأرض قطع متجاوز جاو متجاوزة وجنات من أعناب gardens of grape وزرع and there are, you know, crops, وَالنَّخِيل, and the date prompts, سِنْوَانٌ سنوان وَغَيْرَ سنوان. Either they are, you know, from a single root, uh, there's a single tree, or from a, uh, or there are many roots, and uh, there are many of them, that way. So, سنوان, there's a single root, and then single branch. Or, there is, غَيْرَ سنوان, many roots, and then one branch. So, this is, like, you could say one of the meanings. Now this is the important part. They all are from the... Now you know the they're in the same area, the same f f fertilizer, or the same topsoil is there, and the same everything is there, and the same water is there. But yet, even though they're in the same environment, they have the same water, the same topsoil, same everything, but from the same tree or even from the different trees, there is some that taste differently from the others, some taste better and the others don't taste better. So this is what Allah does. It's exactly the same way in medicine. You give somebody one medicine, even though he has the same symptoms, same everything, that medicine doesn't work on that person. That same medicine works on someone else and the other medicine works on that person because this is how Allah has done it. So why things ultimately happen? Uh, is is still relatively a lot of aspects of it are still unknown, like in this case. وَإِن تَعْجَبَكَ فَعْجَبْ قَوْلُهُمْ إِذَا كُنَّا تُرَابًا أَإِنَّا لَفِي خَلْكٍ جَدِيدٍ O Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, if uh, if you are astonished, right? Then the, the astonishing thing is that they say, okay, how the astonish the truly astonishing thing is to say. Is uh, they're saying, uh, when we will be dust to dust, uh, we will be a new creation after that. Why is it? These are the people that have denied their Rabb. Because who created you the first time? You know, if you say that you came into existence automatically the first time, then okay, this makes sense. But this is completely strange in the context of the fact that if you say you believe in Allah. But since you don't believe in Allah, then this is not a strange thing. These are the people who have denied their Rabb. And therefore they find it strange, even though what they're saying is really strange. They're the ones who have fetters in their necks. They can't, you know, their, their arrogance doesn't allow them to see the truth. They're the people of the fire whom fiha khalidun. In it they will remain. وَيَسْتَعْجِلُونَكَ بِالسَّيِّئَةِ قَبْلَ الْحَسَنَةِ And O Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they urge you to what is سَيِّئَ السَّنْ مِنْ قَبْلَ الْحَسَنَةِ Before what is good. They, bring, they, they urge you, uh, they want in a hurry what is evil before what is good. وَقَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ قَبْلِهُمُ الْمُثَلَاتِ يَسْتَعْجِلُونَكَ بِالسَّيِّئَةِ Over here means they, they want you to bring the punishment. This is the evil. قبل الحسنة before the good which is to accept Islam وقد خلت من قبله مثلا they similar 
nations before have already been perished before that you're calling towards. Inna rabbaka la dhu maghfiratin linnas. Indeed, Allah is most forgiving to people. Wa ala dhulmihim. And over their wrong and their injustices. Inna rabbaka la shadidu niqab. Indeed, Allah is when it comes to it. Shadidu niqab. He's very severe in taking revenge. وَيَقُولُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لَوْ لَا أُنزِلَ عَلَيْهِ آيَةً Again, why don't you bring to us a sign, a miracle like the previous prophets? Right? إِنَّمَا أَنْتَ مُنْذِرْ Indeed, you are just a warner to the people. وَلِكُلِّ قَوْمٍ هَادٍ Just every people will get a person to give them guidance. Then after that, they're responsible. He has to give them the message, make it clear for them. Then after that, they're responsible. But اللَّهُ يَعْلَمُ مَا تَحْمِلُ كُلَّ أُنْثَ وَمَا تَغِيدُ الْأَرْحَامِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows what every woman carries and which uh, of the embryos is dropped, meaning there's been, um, <coughs> which has been prematurely dropped. You know, there's been a miscarriage. تَغِيدُ uh, الْأَرْحَامِ وَمَا تَزْدَادُ وَكُلُّ شَيْءٍ إِنْدَهُ بِالْمِقْدَارِ And with, uh, and, and what goes beyond the nine months, he also knows that. وَكُلُّ شَيْءٍ إِنْدَهُ بِالْمِقْدَارِ And everything with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a certain amount. Some, sometimes women can even get pregnant. Uh, there can be, and there can be a miscarriage and they don't even know that because it was just at the very beginning phases. عَالِمُ الْغَيْبِ وَالشَّهَادَ كَبِيرُ الْمُتَعَالِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the knower of the unseen and shahada and what is whatever anyone witnesses, he is also witnessing. And what no one, nothing can witness, he also knows that. Kabir al-Muta'al, most high, Muta'al, most exalted, most high, most great and most high. Sawa'un minkum man asarra qawla wa man jahrabi. It's all the same to him. The one who says something in secretly or the one who says something out loud. Wa man وَمَنْ يَسْتَخْفِمْ بِاللَّيْلِ وَسَارِبُ النَّهَارِ And uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, مَنْ يَسْتَخْفِفْ Whoever goes lightly or secretly بِاللَّيْلِ in the night time وَسَارِبُ uh, النَّهَارِ uh, And whoever goes, you know, uh, in, in the daytime, out in the open, in the daytime, Allah also knows that. Whatever is freely traveling and openly traveling, freely traveling in the daytime, Allah also knows that. لَهُ مُعَقَّبَاتٌ مِنْ بَيْنِ يَدَيْهِ وَمِنْ خَلْفِ يَحْفَزُونَهُ مِنْ أَمْرِ اللَّهِ And here's an example of how much Allah does care. And Allah wants to give you time. And Allah wants you to use your brain. And Allah wants you to learn from your past and grow and, and nurture and be, be nurtured and to grow. لَهُ مُعَقَّبَاتٌ مِنْ بَيْنِ يَدَيْهِ وَمِنْ خَلْفِ And and they are, you know, angels that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put before before a person or behind him. Before him and behind him, يَحْفَزُونَهُ مِنْ أَمْرِ اللَّهِ And they protect him by the decree of Allah. إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُغَيْرُ مَا بِقَوْمٍ Allah does not change a people حَتَّى يُغَيْرُ مَا بِأَنفُسِهِمْ Until they change what is within themselves. And Allah wanted the Quraysh people of Quraysh and, and the Muslims, uh, the people of Arabia to change within themselves, to accept this truth and not be stubborn. وَإِذَا إِذَا أَرَادَ اللَّهُ بِقَوْمٍ سُوءٍ and if Allah decides to bring evil upon a nation, فَلَا مَرَدَّ لَهُ Then there's no returning that. وَمَا لَهُمْ مِن دُونِهِ مِنْ وَالِ And there is no one to protect you from him. هُوَ الَّذِي يُرِيكُمْ بَرْقَ خَوْفًا وَتَمْعًا He's the one who shows you lightning as خَوْف, as fear, and تَمْعًا and as hope. You know, because now rain will come and it will bring the harvest. So because of that and خَوْف, because uh, lightning does come strike fear into the hearts of men. يُنْشِئُ السَّحَابِ يُسْحَابِ الْثِقَالِ And he generates the, uh, he, he makes the, he starts the, uh, the sahab, the cloud, thiqal, he, he creates them, causes them to become heavy, so that they will become, then they will bring down the rain. What's interesting is this uh, lightning also has a psychological component, which I'll show you in a second. So, هُوَ الَّذِي يُرِيكُمْ بَلْقَ خَوْفًا وَطَمْعًا He shows you lightning as fear and tam'a. Um, over here, I'd like to show you that even in, in movies, when they want to show horror or something horrifying, there's a whole, uh, you could say, a, a report, a project report written on the connection between lightning and the fear factor in games and horror movies and all of this. So, the, you know, lightning is used to create a certain mood of... Fear, okay? 
um, and uh, astrophobia when lightning is frightening. Okay, so it's it's it is. Quran is completely correct about this psychological state. I'm just going to read to you. When normal people have a fear of severe weather, lightning in particular, the fear of lightning and thunderstorms has two names, brontophobia or more specific astrophobia. Thunderstorms are unpredictable, loud and destructive. All reasons to have a healthy respect for lightning and thunder. When it comes to overcoming a fear of lightning, it's important to educate yourself on facts behind electric storms and how to keep you and your loved ones safe when they happen. Statistics show that lightning hits the earth more than 3 million times a day. NOAA, which is a weather uh, institute, estimates that 400 people are hit by lightning every year and 55 to 60 of these events are fatal. Many people die. While this may be a shocking number, it is statistically lower than the number of individuals who are hit by cars, sh um, shot by guns, or killed by even hippos. So, the point is that there's a normal fear, but a normal fear versus like a disorder. A disorder is when it becomes a phobia that you can't even go out if it's raining, for example, uh, from the fear. But there is something natural within lightning that is known and is even used in horror movies and stuff. So astrophobia, when the fear of th the fear of thunder and lightning, astrophobia, fear of thunder and lightning. Okay. So this is there, and it's now known and labeled and understood and studied. He's the one who shows you lightning and fear, and as a source of, uh, you know. Uh, hope, okay. What Yun Shi was Sahaba Thiqal because uh, why? Because when you see the heavy rains coming, then you know that your harvest will get its water, okay. Wa yusabbihu ra'du bihamdihi, and the thunder, it it does the tasbih of Allah with His hamd, with His tas. Yusabbihu ra'du, the 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 thunder declares Allah's perfection bihamdihi by uh, by giving Him hamd, you know. By uh, manifesting the, uh, the 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 hamd of Allah subhanahu wa taala, the praise of Allah, وَالْمَلَائِكَةُ مِنْ خِيفَتِهِ, and the angels as well from the fear of Allah, they do what? They also do tasbih of Allah. وَيُرْسِلُ السَّوَاعِقَ, and he sends the thunderbolts. فَيُصِيبُ بِهِ مَنْ يَشَاءُ, and it causes to hit whoever he wills. مَنْ يَشَاءُ, whoever he wills. So the sixty seventy. You know, fatal wound uh, deaths that occur because of lightning, that's because Allah has obviously destined that to happen. And uh, they want to dispute about Allah, right? When all this is happening, there. Uh, and He is severe in uh, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decides, like in this place, in this situation, someone is going to be uh, get. Uh, a thunderbolt, then it happens. Okay? So he's Shadid al Mihal, he's severe in his assault. Okay? Lahu da'watul haq. This now actually has two meanings. Number one is dua to Allah is haq. Dua to Allah is real. Dua to Allah will have consequences. Lahu da'watul haq, and for him is the true call. Meaning, what Allah is calling towards is true, and the other is Lahu da'watul haq. Dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is haq. وَالَّذِينَ يَدْعُونَ مِن دُونِهِ And those who call other than Allah, لَا يَسْتَجِيبُونَ لَهُمْ لَا يَسْتَجِيبُونَ لَهُ لَهُمْ مِن بِشَيْءٍ Those that they call other than Allah, they can't respond to them with anything. إِلَّا كَبَاسِطُ الْكَفَّيْهِ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ يُبْلِغُ الْوَفَاءِ وَمَا هُوَ بِبَالِغِيهِ Okay? Except as, now imagine there's water somewhere. And your hand, you know, far away, there's water, and you stretch out your hand to get the water and to put it into your mouth. It's not going to happen. So this is how dua that's to the false gods is. Okay. So he extends his hand so to put it into his mouth. It will not reach his mouth. وَمَا دُعَاءَ الْكَافِرِينَ إِلَّا فِي ظَلَالِ And the call or the dua of the kafirin is nothing but leads to someone to astray, leads them astray. 
Or the other meaning of this could be Just imagine that he's imagining there's water, but there's not, not even any water. And he's putting, he's extending his hands out to get water and to put it in his mouth, but the water is not there, but he's doing it as if there is water. It, it doesn't even have a reality, right? So uh, the other thing is doing dua is like uh, drinking water based upon this ayah. Because if you are doing dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it is real, then it's the opposite, right? It's khaliful ma'na. It means the opposite. The doing dua to Allah is like getting water and putting it into your mouth and, and quenching your thirst. So there is a, e, 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 no matter what, knowing that you're, ta you're talking to the true Allah and that He is the Allah that can make things happen is like drinking water, okay, spiritually speaking. وَمَا دُعَاءُ الْكَافِرِينَ إِلَّا فِي ضَلَالٍ And the dua of the the kafirin is not accepted in error. Okay. وَلِلَّهِ يَسْجُدُ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ وَأَنْ أَوْكَرْهَا وَلِذَلُهُمْ بِالْغَدُوِّ وَالْأَصَالِ And for Allah does sajda, whatever is in the heaven and the earth, تَوْأَنْ أَوْكَرْهَا Willingly or unwillingly. This is a very important term. Willingly or unwillingly? Because the universe is such that it is a many opposite forces are there. Many opposite forces are working at the same time, willingly or unwillingly. Okay. وَظِلَالَهُمْ بِالْغُدُوِّ وَالْعَصَالِ And even their shadows, they do sujood to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. بِالْغُدُوِّ وَالْعَصَالِ In the morning and the evenings, they're doing uh, sajda to Allah. So this is maqam sajda. You have to do sajda here. Inshallah, do sajda. And then, or whenever you get a chance after this dars, you can do sajda. But sometime today, best if you do such that now is better, or sometime soon is is better. But don't not don't otherwise you'll forget. Shaitan will make you forget, or you'll forget. قُلْ مَنْ رَبُّ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ قُلِ اللَّهُ O Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, ask them. مَنْ رَبُّ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ Who is the Rabb of the heavens and the earth? قُلِ اللَّهُ Say Allah. أَفَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَتَ
according to you know however space there was in any valley there it would come from the mountains into the valleys into the into the valleys according to biqadariha according to its capacity okay so um and as this process is taking place so as this process is taking place from the mountains to the valleys to this place where the water is the 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 foam would come to the top of the water okay so this is the second example so the, so this foam you know what would happen it's on top and the water would then just seep into the ground and that is the the real beneficial thing would be that okay and of the things that you put in you uh, kindle in fire okay so that you would make some ornaments or something and and you put something in fire and the same thing happens this white thing comes this foam comes but that foam has no benefit to the overall process of what you're doing this is how allah strikes the truth and 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 falsehood or the second meaning is this is how allah gives the example of haqq and batil and as for the foam, whether it is of the water or of the uh, iron when it is being burnt or welded, then you know the 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 zabadu the the foam just goes away. Okay, so it just passes away. The jufa the jufa goes away. This the 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 scum. وَأَمَّا مَا يَنْفَعُ النَّاسَ فَيَثْبِتُ فِي الْأَرْضِ And as for the thing that benefits the people, that goes into the earth, meaning the water. كَذَلِكَ يَضْرِبُ اللَّهُ أَمْثَالَ this is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives the example. Now, the example here is very, very important, uh, even as a human process of, uh, uh, of, of history. You know, if you look at Hegel's uh, idea of the thesis and antithesis, how Allah strikes truth and falsehood. This is happening at two different levels. At one level, it is happening between the people of the prophets and the prophets and the falsehood that they're facing. So, haq and batil is attacking, is in... in in um haq and batil is in opposition to one another the other way is happening as a historical process because human beings try one thing that's false then they learn that's false and they try another thing but that thing is also false but it is still better than what is before so for example we used to worship moon and stars but now we know we can't worship moons and stars they're not gods we know this clearly so now we've Made, but still, what we have today, not believing in Allah at all, for example, this still has its problems. So, in the same way, moving from uh, communism to socialism, socialism to democracy, all these different systems, they are, as time goes, human being moving from kingship to other social structures, what is all this process, this historical process as a whole? This historical <coughs> process as, <coughs> as a whole... <coughs> is taking us to the doorstep of the Prophet and to the doorstep of Islam where man has no choice but to see Islam as the only way and the only solution for mankind. Okay. This is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala causes haq and batil to strike against one another. And as for the zabad, the foam, it goes away in like a scum. Right? So the falsehood, so this process is taking place over and over again, and man is getting closer and closer to Islam. This is the thing is that on the one side, if it wasn't for the Zionist movement and all the problems that they create, the world would be a lot closer to Islam today and doing da'wah and all this Islamophobia that they've created. Because the, the, the world that we're in today, right, where mankind is today, all the false religions are, are, are basically ancient and they don't fit to the modern times. <coughs> the only way of life that will fit modern times, rather the postmodern times, is Islam. And those people that call respond to the call of Allah, there is good. If in those people that don't respond to the call, call of Allah, even if they have the earth and all of it, and even some and, and more of it like that, 
it will not be accepted as a ransom to them because on that day on the day of judgment this is what they're going to think this is where their mind is going to go how can i free myself what can i give away to free myself well it's not going to happen uh, these are the people that have an evil accounting and their final place is the hellfire and what an evil resting place that will be يعلم أن ما أنزل إليك من ربك ربك الحق كمن هو أعمى is the one who knows O Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم what has been revealed to you is حق is truth كمن هو أعمى is like the one who is blind إنما يتذكر أول الألباب indeed those people reflect who have deep understanding or true understanding والذين ي ي يوفون بأهد الله لا ينقذون ميثاق those people who keep the covenant and their promises with Allah, and they don't break that promise, that mithaq. وَالَّذِينَ يَصِلُونَ مَا أَمَرَ اللَّهُ بِهِ وَالَّذِينَ يَصِلُونَ مَا أَمَرَ اللَّهُ بِهِ And those people who bring together what Allah has wanted to be together, what Allah has commanded to be together. أَن يُوصَلَ وَيَخْشَوْنَ رَبَّهُمْ And they fear Allah. وَيَخَافُونَ سُوءَ الْحِسَابِ and they fear a, a bad accounting. They fear the day where they have to uh, answer to Allah. And they fear that uh, that day, that uh, lest they would have to give an account that would be very evil. So they don't want to do wrong things. وَالَّذِينَ صَبَرُوا بْتِغَاءَ وَجْهِ رَبِّهِمْ وَأَقَامُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَأَنْفَقُوا مِمَّا رَزَكَهُمْ سِرًّا وَأَلَانِيَ So those people who have sabr, okay? بْتِغَاءَ وَجْهِ رَبِّهِمْ Seeking the pleasure of Allah. وَأَقَامُوا الصَّلَاءُ وَأَنْفِقُوا مِمَّا رَزَقَهُمْ And they spend out of whatever Allah has given to them. سِرًا وَأَلَانِيَ In secret and openly. يَدْرَعُونَ بِالْحَسَنَةِ السَّيِّئِ أَوْلَئِكَ هُمْ لَهُمْ أُقْبُ الدَّارِ And for these people, because they fear the final accounting, so they follow the, good, the bad deeds with good deeds. يَدْرَعُونَ بِالْحَسَنَةِ السَّيِّئَ They follow a bad, if they ever make a mistake, they make a sin, they follow it with something good. So it, it can be counterbalanced in their uh, their scale of, of their deeds of good and bad. أُولَئِكَ لَهُمْ أُقْبُ الدَّارِ For them is the final abode. And this should be the sunnah of every Muslim, that if you do make any mistake, follow it out with something good. جَنَّاتُ أَدْلٍ يدخلونها ومن صلها من آبائهم وأزواجهم وذرياتهم والملائكة يدخلون عليهم من كل باب. so جنات gardens of eternity من جنات عدن يدخل يد يدخلونها in it they will enter ومن صلها من آبائهم and whoever was righteous who made things right amongst their uh, their fathers وذرياتي وأزواجهم and their wives, وَذُرِّيَاتِهِمْ and their children, وَالْمَلَائِكُ يَدْخُلُونَ and the, and the angels will enter, يَدْخُلُونَ عَلَيْهِمْ in كُلِّ بَابِ the angels will enter from all the doors, right? سَلَامٌ عَلَيْكُمْ بِمَا صَبَرْتُمْ peace upon you for the sabr you had. وَنِعْمَ أُكْبُ الدَّارِ what a blessed final result this is, final uh, dar, the house that you have. وَالَّذِينَ يَنْقُذُونَ أَحْدَ اللَّهِ مِنْ بَعْدِ مِثَاقِهِ and those people that break the covenant. After making, after, after rectifying the covenant with Allah, وَيَقْتَعُونَ مَا أَمَرَ اللَّهُ بِهِ أَنْ يُوصَلَ And they break the things that Allah has commanded to be joined. For example, marriage. وَيُفْسِدُونَ فِي الْأَرْضِ And they cause corruption in the world. Anything that breaks marriages, all these, this indecency that we have in our society and, and, and you know, making the doors for zina easy, all these things are fasad. Okay. وَيَفْسِدُونَ فِي الْأَرْضِ أُولَئِكَ لَهُمْ لَعْنَةُ وَلَهُمْ سُوءَ الدَّارِ For them is the curse, meaning that they are deprived from the mercy of Allah. وَلَهُمْ سُوءَ الدَّارِ And for them is an evil uh, house, an evil place to be. وَاللَّهُ يَبْسِدُ رِزْقَ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ وَيَقْدِرُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala extends his risk for whoever he wills, and وَيَقْدِرُ Or he contracts it, takes it, makes it less. وَفَرِهُ بِالْحَيَاةِ الدُّنِيَ And those people that are happy, فَرِهُ Overly happy about the life of this world. وَمَا الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنِيَا فِي الْآخِرَةِ إِلَّا مَتَاءَ This world compared to the next life is nothing but just, you know, مَتَاءَ A مَتَاءَ is actually a cloth you use to wash and then it gets, you know, broken down. The cloth is itself, it has holes. And then you use another cloth to clean something. And then that cloth also gets bad. And you have five, six of these cloths. And you tie them together into one cloth. This is mata'a. This is the enjoyment of the world. Okay? 
وما الحياة الدنيا في الآخرة إلا متاع. It's just some benefit, right? And the Prophet ﷺ, in connection to the ayah before, that Allah has caused things to be joined, which is marriage, خير المتاع الدنيا امرأة الصالحة. The best of the things of the enjoyments of this world is a righteous wife. Nothing can replace that. وَيَقُولُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لَوْ لَا أُنزِلَ عَلَيْهِ آيَةٌ مِنْ رَبِّهِ and they say, why, the, those people that deny the truth, they say, oh, why has no sign come to us? Show us a miracle, show us a miracle. قُلْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُذِلُّ مَنْ يَشَاءُ وَيَهْدِي إِلَيْهِ مَنْ أَنَابُ Allah leads astray whoever He wills and He guides whoever turns to Him. Thus, that's the one Allah guides. الَّذِي آمَنُوا وَتَتْمَعِنَّ قُلُوبُهُمْ بِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ Those people who believe and their hearts find tranquility in the remembrance of Allah. Allahumma ja'alna minhum. May Allah make us of those that we hear the name of Allah, we do dhikr of Allah, and we find tranquility. Allah bi dhikr illahi tatma'in al qulub. Indeed, it is by the dhikr of Allah, by the remembrance of Allah, the hearts find tranquility. Alladina amanu wa amilu salihati tuba lahum wa husna ma'ab. Those people who, do, who believe and do good deeds. Tuba lahum, you know. Good news for them. لَهُمْ حُسْنُ مَآبِ And for them is a goodly return, is a beautiful return. كَذَلِكَ أَرْسَلْنَا فِي أُمَمٍ قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهَا أُمَمًا لِتَتْلُوا عَلَيْهِمُ الَّذِي أَوْهَيْنَا إِلَيْكَ وَهُمْ يَكْفُرُونَ بِالرَّحْمَانِ Now this subject has come before Zut al-An'am, but over here Allah says again, وَلَوْ أَنَّ قُرْآنًا سُيِّرَتْ بِهِ الْجِبَالِ and if we had لو أن القرآن سيرت به جبا if we had given them a Quran because there you know Allah doesn't want to now send you know a a a miracle that they can observe with their eyes and stuff Allah wants them to know the truth by reading the truth something that is coming from the inside which is the Quran that confirms the truth within and of course the Quran is the only miracle that Allah wanted to give basically that is. وَلَوْ أَنَّا قُرْآنًا سُيِّرَتْ بِهِ الْجِبَالِ And if we had given them a Qur'an, وَلَوْ أَنزَلْنَا Meaning, if we had sent down a Qur'an that which would cause the mountains to move, أَوْ قُطِيَتْ بِهِ الْأَرْضِ Or the earth would be torn into pieces, torn apart. Or, أَوْ كَلِّمَ بِهِ الْمَوْتَ Or even if the dead spoke to them. بَلِلَّهِ الْجَمْرُ جَمِيعَ Look, the affairs are in Allah's, with Allah all of them. All of the things are in Allah's hands, all of them. Now the believers also were hoping, you know, the Prophet, if they can just show them a miracle, then they would shut up, you know, kind of thing. Do that, those people who believe not know. If Allah wanted, He would have guided all mankind. تحلوا قريبا من من ديارهم. so and so one is you know the prophet comes and says look if you don't believe me there's going to be punishment of Allah and that's coming like it happened in the case of Lut and Hud and so on and so forth. but in addition to that Allah subhanahu wa taala causes them to suffer some pains so that they will return to Allah even before that. so لا يزالون الذين كفروا تصيبهم بما صنعوا. Allah subhanahu wa taala subhanahu wa taala will not cease the those that reject the truth, it will not cease. that they will keep feeling the result of what they're doing. Okay, that a punishment because of a disaster that they uh, manufacture because of what they've done, they might get. Oh, or it is made halal, or it is been, it has been allowed for some punishment to come near their 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 house to like kind of like be a wake up call. حَتَّى يَأْتِيَ وَعَدُ اللَّهُ Until the promise of Allah finally comes, if they finally don't believe, after a certain amount of time, which is an unknown extended amount of time, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring the punishment and do them away. In the case of the Prophet again, this happened in the case of, uh, but what happened is the people believed in the Prophet, and the, uh, the Badr happened as the first installment of Allah's punishment, and then the Fatul Makkah happened, in which people were given four months to accept Islam or die, in which they then accepted Islam. In Allah, لا يخلف المئات. Allah سبحانه وتعالى doesn't break his promise. ولقد استحزي بالرسل من قبل. O Prophet of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم, they have made mock the messengers before. فأملئت للذين كفروا. So 
I extend for the people, Allah says, أَمْلَيْتُ لِلَّذِينَ كَفُرُوا I extend for the people who reject the truth. ثُمَّ أَخَذْتُمُوهُمْ And then I grab them. كَيْفَ كَانَ عِقَابْ كَيْفَ كَانَ عِقَابْ How is my punishment then? Okay, how is my punishment when that happens? أَفَمَنْ هُوَ قَائِمٌ عَلَىٰ عَلَىٰ كُلِّ نَفْسٍ بِمَا كَسَبَتْ أَفَمَنْ هُوَ قَائِمٌ عَلَىٰ كُلِّ نَفْسٍ بِمَا كَسَبَتْ وَجَعَلُوا لِلَّهِ شُرَكَاء How is the one who stands over all souls? Meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Meaning Allah who is قَائِمٌ عَلَىٰ كُلِّ نَفْسٍ بِمَا كَسَبَتْ Allah is over, over every soul. Allah has, knows exactly what is earned. جَعَلُوا لِلَّهِ شُرَكَاء and you make partners to Allah. Go ahead, name them. Who are these gods other than Allah? Right? Because these are gods that you've named in your forefathers. But what is their names? Are you going to tell Allah? Of what there is no knowledge of in the earth. Meaning these, these there, there's no such thing. There's no such knowledge. Um, be uh, be min al qawl or of the apparent things that they, Allah even knows of the things that they say is one meaning, or uh, they have no proof of what they say. But ladina kafaru makruhum wasaddu an sabilillah. But has been made beautiful for the people who reject the truth. Makruhum they're plotting and planning wasadduhum an sabilillah, and there has been made beautiful to them that making people go away from Allah, not listen to the message of Quran, keep people away from Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, do character assassination on him, and all this. Wa mayudilil fama lahu minhad, and whoever Allah leads astray, he has no one to guide him. Lahum adabun fil hayat dunya for them is a punishment in this world. وَالْعَذَابُ الْآخِرَةِ أَشَّقْ And the punishment of the hereafter will be more severe. وَمَا لَهُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ مِنْ وَاقُ And they have no protector other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it's in their best interest to surrender to Allah. But they're too arrogant to do that and they're too arrogant to see the truth. مَثَلُ الْجَنَّةِ الَّتِي وَعِذَ الْمُتَّقُونَ The example of the Jannah that has been promised to the, the people who have taqwa. تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِيَ الْأَنْهَارِ I think... Um, <clears throat> Over here, uh, ayah number 30, I wanted to mention that Ar-Rahman was the name of Allah. كذلك أرسلنا من أمم قد خلت من قبلها أمم نطلوا عليهم الذي أوحينا إليك وهم يكفرون بالرحمن. If you have many gods, okay, then you don't see the mercy in godhood of any. There's all you know because one god is for this, one god is. This. It's like they're rival, rival gods. You can only have a merciful god if you have one god. You can only have one merciful God. And this is one point about ayah number 30 that I wanted to point, it, point out. وَمَثَلُ الْجَنَّةِ الَّتِي وَعِدَ الْمُتَّقُونَ And the example of the Jannah that has been promised to the people of Taqwa. تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِيَ الْأَنْهَارِ And under which rivers flow. أُكُلُهَا دَائِمٌ وَذُلُّهَا then, you know, its fruits are forever, okay? Da'iman, it's forever, wa And it's in sh it's in a shade, it has shade. Tilka uqbu ladina, tilka uqbiya ladina ittaqu. This is the result of the people that have taqwa. Wa uqbu kafirin al nar. And the, result, the final result of the kafir, those who reject the truth, is the hellfire. وَالَّذِينَ آتَيْنَهُمُ الْكِتَابَ يَفَرِهُ بِمَا أُنزِلَ إِلَيْكَ And those people who have been given the book, right now they're happy because of what has come to you. Because now the Jews and the Christians get to say, see, see Revelation, now you, you're getting to know this, and see, yeah, these stories, these are the stories of ours. وَمِنَ الْحَزَاب مَنْ يُنْكَرْ بَعْضُهُ And amongst the parties, there are some who dislike a part of it. Look, I have been commanded to worship Allah and make no partners to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I call to him, I do dua to him, and I only turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the other, uh, and among the parties, there are some that reject part of it, meaning part of what Prophet Muhammad is saying. Look, I've been commanded to worship Allah. 
to become abd of Allah, servant of Allah, full time in the service of Allah, completely loyal to Allah, la ushrik bihi, to make no partners to Allah. Wa ilayhi ad'u, I pray to him, wa ilayhi ma'ab, and to him is my return. Kadhalik anzalnahu hukman arabiya. This is how we sent down to you a commandment in Arabic language. Li, li, wa la initta ahwa'ahum, if you were to follow their desires, be, uh, and by the way, the, they were happy right now because the prophets in Mecca and direct confrontation and dealings had not had yet happened. After you, if you follow, if they follow your desires after knowledge has come to you, then there is no wali uh, protect. There is no one who will be your guardian and, and, and your ally and your protector. وَلَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا رُسُلَنَا مِنْ قَبْلِ وَجَعَلْنَا لَهُمْ أَزْوَاجًا وَذُرِّيَّةً And we sent messengers before, before, جَعَلْنَا لَهُمْ أَزْوَاجًا And they had wives and they had children. وَمَا كَانَ لِرَسُولٍ أَنْ يَأْتِيَ بِآيَةٍ إِلَّا بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ And it's not for a messenger that he can just bring a, mess, a, a, a sign whenever he wants, except he brings a sign by the permission of Allah. إِلَّا بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ وَلِكُلِّ أَجَلٍ كِتَابٍ And everything has an appointed term in his book. Okay, you have time, you can believe, otherwise it'll be too late. يَمْحَكُ اللَّهُ مَنْ يَشَاءُ وَيُثْبِتُ And Allah eliminates and obliterates ab 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 uh, whatever He wills, وَيُثَبِّتُ And He confirms what He wants. وَإِنْدَهُ أُمُّ الْكِتَابِ And He has the mother book, meaning the Qur'an. The Qur'an, the Ummul Kitab, the original book, is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from which the revelation then comes to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What? وَإِن مَا يُرِيكَ بَعْدَ الَّذِي نَعِذُهُمْ And O Prophet وسلم, we to show you some of the promises that, uh, you know, that we نُرِيكَ بَعْدَ الَّذِي نَعِذُهُمْ And w whether we show you a part of what we've promised them أو تُوَفِّيَنَّكَ Or we cause you to die إِنَّمَا عَلَيْكَ الْبَلَاكِ your, your, your job was to convey وَعَلَيْنَا الْحِسَابِ And we will take the reckoning They have an appointed time a messenger has come to them with clear signs. Now the only reason they're rejecting it is their arrogance. If they don't accept it, the punishment will come. This is interesting also. And have they not seen This ayah could have been revealed in Medina. But uh, since it's a Makki surah, let's just go with that. Uh, and do they not see that the earth, uh, you know, the the uh, the earth is be reducing uh, is re is reducing for them, receding for them, because the other tribes, the other people, it's like they're beginning to listen to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So it's like the earth is receding on them because others are now leaning towards the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, or they want to know what his message is. Wallahu yahku, wallahu yahkumu. لا مؤقبة لحكمي. Allah is the one who decides. There is no one who can change His hukam, His His command. والله سريع الحساب. And Allah سبحانه وتعالى is swift in taking account. So you know the da'wah of the Prophet was spreading, and so it's being said. Do you not see that your world is shrinking? Maybe other people will accept Islam, and you will be the only ones left here around uh, in the in the in the center that haven't ex accepted Islam. أولم يروا أن نأتي الأرض نَنْقِصُهَا مِنْ أَطْرَافِهَا from, from, from around it, from the corners of it, it's, it's, it, the, the message is going and the world is uh, like, you know, zoning into you, coming into you, right? وَاللَّهُ يَحْكُمُ لَا مُعَقِبَ لِحُكْمِهِ There's no altering his hukum. وَاللَّهُ سَلِيُّ الْحِسَابِ What's interesting is that this is also a scientific fact. وَلَمْ يَرَوْ Do you need not see anna that we cause the earth to shrink? Okay, and over here, let me just show you this: that the earth, uh, the earth's crust, the sh earth's shrinking crust, could leave us living in the water world. Well, not now. This will be like millions of years ago. But you know, the earth's crust uh, is uh, shrinking, and uh, so that's uh, just you know how Allah is causing the earth to shrink. So this ayah also completely hundred percent applies here too. But in terms of the revelation and the asbab al-nuzul, when it was revealed, for why it was revealed, it has to do with the da'wah of the Prophet spreading now outside Mecca. وَلَقَدْ مَكَرَ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ فَلِلَّهِ مَكْرُوا جَمِيعًا 
And those people before, they also plotted and planned against the messengers of that time. And for Allah is the plotting and planning. And Allah knows completely what every soul has earned. And uh, and the kuffar, they'll, those that reject the truth, they'll know who has the final house, who has the final abode. And those people who disbelieve, they say, Oh, Prophet, you're not a Prophet. They say, You're not a Prophet. Look, Allah is a witness between me uh, and you. Okay, بينكم ومن ومن عنده علم الكتاب and Allah and and Allah subhanahu wa taala is witness of whatever is in the book the book that He sent He's you can't see from this book that this book is from Allah what do you mean He's not a messenger can you not see from this book itself that He's the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa taala so alhamdulillahi bi izzati wa jalali tatimu salihat we finished with the rod now we will start with the Ibrahim the Ibrahim is also relatively short. So Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Rabbi shahli sadri wa yassir li amri wa ahlul uqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli amin ya Rabb It would be a good time to look at this So we started with Sutul Yusuf Yusuf's names was cleared Yusuf meets his family Lessons of history Then we start Sutul Rad Signs of Allah in nature We talked about the thunder If you remember The faithful and the unfaithful compared Remembrance of Allah uh, Puts the heart to rest The prophets have been mocked And the witnesses to truth and so the Ibrahim now Quran needs to light Musa والسلام, to deny the truth Ibrahim's prayers in respite and the end okay so this is where we are inshallah ta'ala so alif lam ra kitabun anzalnahu ilayka li tukhrij an-nasa min al-dhulumati ila al-nur Alif Lam Ra Kitabun. This is a book that has been sent to you, O Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, to take people out of many of the darknesses into the light of enlightenment. By the permission of their Rabb, Ila Sirat to the path Al Aziz Al Hamid. That is full of might, the path that gives you strength, you could say Al Aziz, or the path the path of Al Aziz Al Hamid, the one who is all powerful and the one who is all praiseworthy, meaning Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. These are the attributes of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Allah Hu Ladi Lahu Ma Fi Samawati Wa Ma Fi Al Ard. Allah is the one who is, who for whom is whatever is in the heavens and the earth. Wailu Lil Kafirin Min Adabun Shadid, and woe unto the disbelievers from the very severe punishment that is about to befall them. Is this a matter of time? الذين يستحبون الحياة الدنيا على الآخرة those people who choose the life of this world over the hereafter Allah sent thousands of prophets and books of His His word His, his all this and pointing to the signs of nature all for what so that you'll learn this life is not the real life the real real life is the life to come الذين يستحبون الحياة الدنيا those who prefer the life of this دنيا على الآخرة over the hereafter ويصد and as a result يصدون عن سبيل الله and they stop people from the path of Allah ويبغون عنها إوجا and they try to find some something wrong with Islam they try to seek a, a way to make people away from Islam أولئك في ظلال بعيد these people have gone far astray وما أرسلنا من رسول إلا بلسان قومه and we've not sent any messenger except in the tongue of its own people. Every messenger except for Lut والسلام, was a messenger that came to the people who was of their own people. Okay? لهم, who made it clear to them. Allah leads astray whoever He wills and He guides whoever He wills. الحكيم, and Allah is the one who has all power and all authority and all wisdom. وَلَقَلْ أَرْسَلْنَا مُوسَى بِآيَاتِنَا أَنْ أَخْرِجْ قَوْمَكَ مِنَ الظُّلُمَاتِ إِلَى النُّورِ And this is how we sent Musa alayhi salatu wasalam before with our signs. أَنْ أَخْرِجْ قَوْمَكَ Take out your people. مِنَ الظُّلُمَاتِ إِلَى النُّورِ From the darkness is into light. وَذَكِّرْهُمْ فِي أَيَّامِ اللَّهِ And remind them of the days of Allah. That Allah gives respite to a certain time and then Allah takes action. And then, the, then there is the final day of judgment. And then you look at what happened with the people of Lut and what happened with the people of Saleh and what happened with the people of Hud. All these people, these are Ayyamillah. These are the days of Allah. 
Inna fi dhalika la ayat li kulli sabbar in shukur. Indeed, in this are signs for people who have sabr and who have shukur. These are the two most important attributes, most basic attributes. Sab sabbar in shukur, very grateful, very patient. If you if you have if you have some if you're not a person of instant gratification, immediately wanting your instant gratification, if you're not that person, and you have some sabr, you have, can withhold yourself and have some, therefore you can give some actual genuine thought to something beyond your ego. Um, if you can do that, then, then the people that have sabr and shukr, right, then they can see some signs in this. In, وَإِذْ قَالَ مُوسَى لِقَوْمِ يُذْكُرُوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ And when Musa alayhi salatu wasalam said to his people, Remember the favors of Allah upon you. إِذْ أَنْجَاكُمْ مِنْ آلِ فِرْعَوْنَ وَيَسُومُنَكُمْ سُوءَ الْعَذَابِ And remember when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved you from the people of Fir'aun, when something evil was touching you of a punishment. يُذَبِّهُونَ أَبْنَاءَكُمْ They would kill your men. وَيَسْتَحْيُونَ نِسَاءَكُمْ and they would let your women live. And this was a great trial for you from your Rabb. Okay, this uh, idea of uh, of uh, yudabihuna abnaakum that they would do zibha, they would legalize the killing of you know it, it, not yaktuluna abnaakum. They didn't kill your. They legalized. They made it halal for the killing of your sons. Right? They legalized it. This is the idea of yudabihuna abnaakum wa yastahyuna nisa, and they let your women go because then they can be used for labor or they can be more easily controlled. And also, uh, it is what we call the rape of a nation, right? In nafi dalika la bala umi rabbiku And in this, in this was a test from your rab, a big test. Wa id wa ida wa wa id taazan rabbukum la in ashak la in shakartum la azidan nakum. If you give shukr, this is the thing. If you are the type that's humble enough to give shukr to Allah, then you can see the truth. You have a good nature. You are a good human being. You know, This is the person, This will come over there too. Give thanks to me and to my your parents. If you're always complaining about your parents, then what are you going to give shukr to Allah? Right? If you can't give shukr to your parents, then you can see no good in anyone and no good in anything. And you'll be in a state of kufr, always rejecting the truth. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made a proclamation, Allah says, if you give shukr, I'll increase for you. Then if you do kufr, then for you is a painful punishment. And my, my punishment is very severe. Alhamdulillah ala ni'mat al-Islam wa ala ni'mat al-Qur'an. Wa qala Musa in takfuru antum wa man fil ard jami'an fa inna Allah la ghaniyun hamid. If you do kufr, Musa alayhi salatu wasalam said, in takfuru, if you reject Allah, antum, you all, wa man fil ard, even the whole of the earth, jami'an, all of it, inna Allah la ghaniyun hamid. Allah is self-sufficient, self-praiseworthy. He doesn't need you. He does whatever He wants. أَلَمْ يَأْتِكُمْ نَبَعُ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ قَوْمٌ نُوحٍ وَعَادٌ وَثَمُودٍ Did not the news of the former nations come to you, of the people of Nuh and Aad and Thamud, وَالَّذِينَ مِنْ بَعْدِهِمْ And those after them, لَا يَعْلَمَهُمْ إِلَّا اللَّهِ Many of them, no one knows except for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, جَاءَتْهُمْ رُسُلُهُمْ بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ فَرَدُّوا أي, uh, So the messengers came to them with clear signs, فَرَدُّوا فَرَدُّوا أَيْدِيَهُمْ فِي أَفْوَاهِهِمْ وَقَالُوا إِنَّا كَفَرْنَا بِمَا أُرْسِلْتُمْ بِهِ So they, what they did was they they turned, they turned their hands into their mouths, فِي أَفْوَاهِهِمْ وَقَالُوا Oh, you know, you want us to believe in this? How can we believe in this? قَالُوا إِنَّا كَفَرْنَا بِمَا أُرْسِلْتُمْ بِهِ And we do kufr of you, they said to the messengers, of what you have been sent with. وَإِنَّا لَفِي شَكٍّ مِمَّا تَدْعُونَنَا إِلَيْهِ مُرِيبٍ And we are in doubt regarding what you have been sent. What your doubt about teachings what don't kill a child, baby, and put it in the grave, that worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, don't cheat the other people, this is what you're in doubt about? You know, at least the answer should be, oh, you know, you, you have some interesting teachings. I, I like some of those teachings. Not, not even that. Like a Muslim can say to a Christian or a Jew, yeah, some of the teachings you have are great. We can appreciate that. Because, so, قَالَتْ رُسُلُهُمْ أَفِ اللَّهِ شَكُنْ فَاتِرِ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ 
Do you have any doubts in Allah who is the creator of the heavens and the earth? He calls you so that he will forgive you. And that he wants to delay the ajalam musamma, the time where that punishment will come. In antum illa basharun mithluna, they just waqalu in antum illa basharun mithluna, and they said, well, you know, you're just a human being like us. Nowadays, the problem is, now if you accept uh, the prophet is a prophet, then they say he, he, he should, you shouldn't accept him as a human being. And if you accept him as a human being, you can't accept him as a prophet. It's the same problem. He's a messenger from Allah. Therefore, why is he a human being? Or you say he is a messenger of Allah. Therefore, he cannot be a human being. This is the problem that we have in the ummah today. You're just a human being like us. You want to just take us away from what our forefathers worshipped. Come to us with clear signs if you are truthful, they would say. Again, this is in the plural. You've noticed this about Surah, it was also in the plural. It wasn't about any particular messenger. A lot of the discussion that was particular about messengers that you saw in Sultan Yunus and Hud over here, it was more in the collective in these two pairs. Um, in Surah Al-Rad and Surah Al-Ibrahim here. قَالَتْ لَهُمْ رَسُولُهُمْ إِنْ نَحْنُ إِلَّا بَشَرٌ مِثْلُكُمْ We are just human beings. The messenger said, we're just messenger. We're human beings like you. وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهَ يُمُنُّ عَلَى مَنْ يَشَاءُ مِنْ إِبَادِي But Allah can choose to do favors on whoever He wants of His servants. وَمَا كَانَ لَا أَنْ نَأْتِيَكُمْ بِسُلْطَانِ We don't have the power to bring to you an evidence that is, you know, the one that you're asking for. Of course, Allah would send evidences each and every time, but not the one that you're asking for. Illa bi idni except by His permission. Wa ala Allahi faliyatawakkalil mu'minun. And the mu'minun, the believers, they trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah gave you a miracle that should be enough. And in the case of the Prophet, the Quran should be enough for all those poets to come and compete against Quran. Why aren't you not doing that? Why are you asking for another miracle? وَمَا لَنَا أَلَّا نَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى اللَّهِ What would be wrong with us that we would not try to, we would not trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. قَدْ حَدَانَا سُبُولَنَا When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has guided us to the path. وَلَنَصْبِرَنَّ عَلَى مَا أُذِيتُمُونَ And we will do sabr over the punishment that you're inflicting upon us. The suffering you're inflicting upon us, we will have sabr. وَعَلَى اللَّهِ فَلْيَتَوَكَّلِ الْمُتَوَكِّلُونَ And Allah, Allah trusts those that trust. قَالَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لِرَسُولِهِمْ لَنُخْرِجَنَّكُمْ مِنْ أَرْضِنَا أَوْ تُعُودُونَا فِي مِلَّتِنَا And قَالَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا وَقَالَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا And said those people that rejected the truth to the messengers لِرَسُولِهِمْ لَنُخْرِجَنَّكُمْ We will definitely kick you out مِنْ أَرْضِنَا From our earth, from our town أَوْ Unless, you know لَتَعُودَنَّ فِي مِلَّتِنَا Or unless you come back to our civilization, our way of life, our way of doing things, our gods and so on and so forth. فَأَوْحَيْنَا إِلَيْهِ رَبِّهِمْ لَنُحْلِكَنَّ ظَالِمِينَ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to the messengers, we're definitely going to destroy the wrongdoing people. وَلَنُسْكِنَنَّكُمُ الْأَرْضِ مِنْ بَعْدِهِمْ And we will cause you to dwell in the earth after them. Meaning the believers will be saved and the people who reject the truth will be destroyed. ذَلِكَ مَنْ خَافَ مَقَامِ وَخَافَ وَعِيدٍ That is for the one who fears my... ذَلِكَ مَنْ خَافَ مَقَامِ That is for the one who fears my position. وَخَافَ وَعِيدٍ And the one who fears my threat. So, either this can be the statement of the Prophet or this can be a statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Or, ذَلِكَ لِمَنْ خَافَ مَقَامِ The one who fears standing before me. وَخَافَ وَعِيدٍ And fears my... Uh, threat, my promises. And they requested, meaning the messengers requested. And what every tyrant that was a need, stubborn, a need, jabbar, and he was a tyrant, all of them, they were disappointed for the actions that they had taken. وَمِنْ وَرَائِي جَهَنَّمْ And behind them is the hellfire now. يُسْقَى مِنْ مَاءٍ صَدِيد And it, they will be uh, given water that is صَدِيد The coming out of pus uh, of, of, you know, this when you have the wounds and the pus comes out from it. So the continuous coming out of pus, this is what's being referred to. 
ويتجرؤون ولا يكاد يسيغوه ويأتي ويأتيه الموت من كل مكان. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يتجرؤوا. He will drink this pus water. This pus water. لا يكاد يسيغوه. It's almost like he can't even take it down his throat, but it's going to be like going down. وَيَأْتِهِ الْمَوْتِ مِنْ كُلِّ مَكَانِ It's like he will be dying from every angle, from every place. He'll, he'll feel like he's dying. وَمَا هُوَ بِمَيِّتْ But he's not going to die. Because you know, death has been killed now on the Day of Judgment. وَمِنْ وَرَائِهِمْ عَذَابٌ غَلِيذٌ and, and after him is a punishment that is very, very severe. Very, very tormenting, strong punishment. مَثَلُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا بِرَبِّهِمْ أَعْمَالُهُمْ And those people who took, who denied the truth مَثَلُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا بِرَبِّهِمْ The example of those people who denied Allah is that of أَعْمَالُهُمْ كَرَمَادٍ is like ashes اِشْتَدَّتْ بِهِ رِيحِ يَوْمٍ عَاسِفٍ It's like ashes and the wind comes and blows it away right in a day where there's a strong wind لَا يَقْدِرُوا مِمَّا كَسَبُوا عَلَى شَيْءٍ and they have nothing of what they have done of any deeds ذَلِكَ ذَلَالٌ بَعِيدٍ that is the the worst situation now we found in the previous surah the example was given of the foam of the water and the foam of the metal right and we will read in the future in Surah Al-Nur will be the example of a miraj where you come to you think it's water but then you come there it's not water and then also in the previous surah you had كَفَيْهِ بَاسَتُ الْكَفَيْهِ مِنَ الْمَاءِ إِلَى he extends his hands to put water in his mouth, but there's no. So these are some examples of these, of the people that reject the truth, what their even what their good actions are like, because they were too arrogant, and whatever good they did was because of not intentions of being good, but because it was the convenient thing to do. Alam taro, alam taro, an Allah khalaq al-samawati wal-arda bil-haq. Have you not seen that Allah subhanahu wa taala created whatever is in the heavens and the earth in truth? Wa in yasha yudhibkum wa yati bi khalqin jadid. And if Allah wanted, He could obliterate you, eliminate you. Wa yati bi khalqin jadid, and He would come with a new creation. He doesn't need you. Wa ma dalika an Allahi bi aziz, and this is not difficult for Allah subhanahu wa taala. Wa barazu lil, wa barazu lillahi jamian. Faqal. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, so they'll all come out before Allah. وَبَرَّزُوا لِلَّهِ جَمِيًا They'll all come before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the Day of Judgment. فَقَالَ الدُّعَفَا لِلَّذِينَ اسْتَقْبَرُوا And the weak ones that used to follow the ones that had status quo, had some status and some standing in society, قَالَ الَّذِينَ اسْتَقْبَرُوا They will say to the people that were proud, إِنَّا كُنَّا لَكُمْ تَبَعَ We used to follow you on earth. فَهَلْ أَنْتُمْ مُغْنُونَ عَنَّا مِنْ عَذَابِ اللَّهِ مِنْ شَيْءٍ Can you do anything to remove and benefit us regarding the punishment of Allah? Anything at all? قَالُوا لَوْ هَدَانَ اللَّهُ لَهَدَانَكُمْ If Allah had guided us, we would have guided you. سَوَاءٌ عَلَيْنَا أَجَزِعْنَا أَمْ سَبَرْنَا It's all the same now, right? عَلَيْنَا أَجَزِعْنَا أَمْ سَبَرْنَا Whether you be impatient, show intolerance, or do sabr. There's no escape today. No escape from this today. This is very important ayah. And when all the affairs are dealt with, and you know, even when the people are in the hellfire, they'll go through different phases. But one of the phases, when they all now, at, at, you know, after bickering with one another and trying to climb the walls and trying to find one escape, after they realize we're here, and now they all turn to shaitan. Okay? وَقَالَ الشَّيْطَانُ لَمَّا قُضِيَ الْأَمْرُ When all the affairs are settled and then when they all, uh, he, he, what did he say? Now they've turned to him and he, they want justification for him. Why did he do this? Why did shaitan do this? So now he, this is what he says. إِنَّ اللَّهُ وَعَدَكُمْ وَعْدَ الْحَقِّ Allah promised you a true promise. Shaitan will say. وَعَدْتَكُمْ وَعَدْتُكُمْ I also promised. فَأَخْلَفْتُكُمْ But I broke my promise. You know, these jinns and these magicians, they, they always get these promises. This, you'll get this if you do this, and if you do this, and if you do this, we'll give you this. And all false promises. In the end, they always get betrayed. مَا كَانَ لِي عَلَيْكُمْ مِنْ سُلْطَانِ I have, shaitan says, I had no control over you. I had no authority over you. إِلَّا أَنْ دَعُوتُكُمْ فَاسْتَجَبْتُمْ لِي I just called you to something. I distracted you. I called you. That's it. You answered it, the call yourself. فَلَا تَلُومُونِي وَلُومُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ Don't blame me. Blame yourself. مَا أَنَا بِمُصْرِكِكُمْ I was not in control of you. 
I had no control. Where were you in control of me? You weren't in charge of me. I wasn't in charge of you. I do sh I do kufr of what you made partners, okay, of, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and me. Min qabl before. Inna dhalimina lahum adhabun alim. For the wrongdoers is a painful punishment. Shaitan himself will be saying this on the day of judgment, uh, in the hellfire. I'm not your helper. Nor are you going to help me? You had no help. There's no help, no control, nothing of that sort. And Allah will enter those people who have iman and do good deeds. Under with under which there are residential gardens, underneath which rivers flow. In it they will remain by the permission of Allah. Tahiyatuhum fiha salam, and their their greetings on that day will be salam. ألم ترى كيف ضرب الله مثلا كلمة طيبة كشجرة طيبة أصلها ثابت نفرها في السماء. Do you not see how Allah gives an example of a kalima of a word that is pure? كشجرة طيبة like a pure tree. أصلها ثابت. Its roots are firmly grounded. وفرها في السماء and its branches are high in the sky. تؤتي كلها كل هين بإذن ربها and it produces its fruit all the all the time. كل حين بإذن ربي by the permission of Allah. ويضرب الله أمثال للناس لعلهم يتذكرون. And Allah gives an example for the people so that perhaps will have some reminding. The power of being on the right side is like a tree that is firmly established, and being on the wrong side is like a tree that has no roots, has nothing to stand on. Right? ومثل مثل كلمة طيبة even a goodly word, a pure word, a good word will settle into the heart of someone like a tree. If you say something bad, it'll have a negative effect upon them. If you say something good, it'll have a positive effect upon them. مثل كلمة خبيثة كشجرة خبيثة استجت من فوق الأرض ما لها من قرار. And the example of an evil word is like a tree, خبيثة, an evil tree, استجت من فوق. Right? It's uprooted. Okay, on the top of the earth. It's just on the land, on top of the land. ما لها من قرار. It has no stability. Right, the truth has stability, and the falsehood has no stability. يثبت الله الذين آمنوا بقول الثابت في الحياة الدنيا. Allah subhanahu wa taala firmly those who believe, those who Allah keeps firm. Allah gives stability to those who believe. Right, with the قول الثابت, which could mean لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله, according to some of the narrations, or لا إله إلا الله. يثبت الله الذين آمنوا بقول الثابت في الحياة الدنيا in this world وفي الآخرة and in the hereafter ويذل الله ويذل الله الظالمين and Allah leads the wrongdoers and the evil doers and the unjust people astray ويفعل الله ما يشاء and Allah does whatever He wills ألم تر إلى الذين بدلوا نعمة الله كفرا do you not see those people who who make the نعمة of Allah the 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 favors of Allah into disbelief نعمة الله كفرة وحلوا فوق وأحلوا قومهم دار البوار right and and for this they make the نعمة of Allah into disbelief and in in وأحلوا قومهم دار البوار they they have settled themselves the people that did such such a thing they have settled themselves in a in a house that will be completely destroyed, it has, it will have no stability. Jahannam yaslawnaha, in the hellfire they will go, القرار, now that will be their qarar, that will be their istiqrar, or qarar, a place of where they will have settled, somewhere to settle and to be and to find stability. جَعَلُوا لِلَّهِ أَنْدَادًا لِيُذِلُّ عَنْ سَبِيلِ They made partners to Allah to make people go astray. قُلْ تُمَتَّعُوا فَإِنَّ مَصِيرَكُمْ إِلَى النَّارِ then go ahead, enjoy yourselves. You know, your final destination is the hellfire. What difference does your little bit of enjoyment in this world matter when you will be in, in, in the hellfire at the end? Say to my servants, those who believe, those who establish the prayer, and who spend out of whatever we've bestowed them, in secret and openly, okay, 
and uh, before that day in which there's no bay'ah and there's no trade, there's no bargaining, wala khilal, and nor there's any khilal, and there's no friend, you can say. Okay? Uh, that they should establish the prayers and spend out of what Allah has given in, in secret and openly before that day comes. Say that to my servants. Allah is the one who created the heavens and the earth 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 and the earth. And Allah says, Allah is the one who created the heavens and the earth and the earth and the earth and he sent down from the sky water. And so he is sent down, you know, from uh, there. فأخرج so because of the water coming down, now from that the, the fruits they come out from the earth as providence for you. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the ships for you, subjugated the ships for you to run in the in the in the ocean and in the seas for you by his command was anhar and he has subjugated to you the rivers, you know, also. The flowing rivers. وَسَّخَرَ لَكُمُ الشَّمْسَ وَالْقَمَرَ تَائِبَيْنَ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is subjugated. The sun and the moon, you'll see the similarity between this surah and the previous surah in these words. وَسَّخَرَ لَكُمُ اللَّيْلَ وَالنَّهَارَ And Allah has subjugated Layla wa Nahar, the night and the day. All for your benefit. And this is one of the proofs of the existence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That who is the one who, who benefits from all this? Everything from the oil and the minerals and the copper and the uranium. All this that comes out of the earth and then the fruits. Who is it coming? Who is, who is benefiting from the way the trees are? Right? That the fruits come out from them. We use their wood to like travel in the sea. All of these things are just automatically by there by accident. No, this is like you are in a castle, in a beautiful castle of someone who has prepared everything for you, and you fail to see that there must be some great owner of this castle. Because you are, you're, the example of these people is like being in a hospital in which they're complaining why people are dying, but they don't see the people that are being healed. وَإِذْ قَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ رَبِّ جَعَلْ هَذَا بَلَدًا آمِنًا وَجْنُبْنِي وَبَنِيَا أَنْ نَعْبُدُ أَنْ نَعْبُدَ أَسْنَامِ and remember, when Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam, he prayed to Allah, Rabbi ja'al hadha baladan amina. Oh Allah, make this land a place of peace. Wajubni wa baniya an na'buda asnam. And keep me and my sons away from worshipping asnam, the idols. Okay? Rabbi inna hunna adlalna kathira minan nas. And Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam prayed, Oh Rabb, these people, they've led many people astray. Faman ittaba'ani fa'innahu minni. Whoever follows me, he's of me. Okay? وَمَنْ عَصَانِ فَإِنَّكَ غَفُورُ رَحِيمٌ Whoever disobeys me, then you're غَفُورُ رَحِيمٌ You're the most forgiving, most merciful. رَبِّ إِنِّي أَسْكَنْتُ مِنْ وَادٍ بِغَيْرِ ذِي ذَرْعٍ إِنْ دَ بَيْتِكَ الْمُحَرَّمِ Allah, O Rabb, my Rabb, because this is what Ibrahim did. He brought his son, Ismail, and his wife, Hajra. And بِغَيْرِ This is a valley with no vegetation. There's a sand, it's a desert. And he's been told to leave his kid there his wife there and Ibrahim والسلام, he leaves Hajra there and he leaves his son there and he turns around and starts walking and his wife is looking like what is this and she asks has Allah commanded you to do this to leave us here in the desert like this and he said yes I've been commanded by Allah to leave you here like this then she said okay then Allah will not you know uh, she trusted Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and so Ibrahim walks a little bit further where he could not be seen. Then he turns to Allah. Rabban, and remember, this is a child given to Ibrahim after almost a, you know many decades of praying for a child, and he's now leaving him in a desert. Rabbana, Rabbana, inni askantu biwad bi min dhuriyati. Oh Allah subhanahu wa taala, I have you know settled. I have left. My children be wild in a in a valley, ghairi the darin in a valley with no agriculture in the Baytik al Muharram near your house that is sacred. Rabbana li yutim al so that they will. So obviously, Hajra, this was her and the son's responsibility. So they will establish the prayer. Fajal af ida ta min al nasi tahwi ilayhim. So let the hearts of the people incline towards them. So what happened is. There was the tribe, I forget the name, very famous tribe. They came and they also started sharing and they gave protection for Ismail and his mother. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I think it was the tribe of Jurham, that then, وَجَعَلْ أَفْئِدَةً مِّنَ النَّاسِ تَحْوِي إِلَيْهِمْ And make the hearts of the people inclined towards them. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala settled also the Jurham tribe there. 
وَرْزُقْهُمْ مِنَ الثَّمَرَاتِ and provide them of the fruits لَعَلَّهُمْ يَشْكُرُونَ so that they will give thanks to you. This was the belief of and the certainty of a prophet that only a prophet could really have this level of certainty that only he had and leaving his children and, and, and his wife and his son in the middle of the desert, right? And completely trusting in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And of course, رَبَّنَا إِنَّكَ تَعْلَمُ مَا نُخْفِي وَمَا نُعْلَنْ He said, Allah, Rabb, oh Rabb, Ya Rabb, إِنَّكَ تَعْلَمُ مَا نُخْفِي وَمَا نُعْلَنْ Allah, you know what we hide and what we show. وَمَا يُخْفَى عَلَى اللَّهِ مِنْ شَيْءٍ Nothing is hidden from Allah. فِي الْأَرْضِ وَلَا فِي السَّمَاءِ In the earth or in the skies. Nothing is hidden from Allah. الحمد لله الذي وهب لي على الكبرياء إسماعيل وإسحاق. and he said praise الحمد لله الذي الحمد لله for the one who gave me the gift in my old age of إسماعيل and إسحاق. إن ربي لا سمي الدعاء indeed my my رب is سمي الدعاء he's the one who listens to the دعاء. رب جعل مقيم الصلاة ومن ذرية ربنا وتقبل دعاء. oh Allah جعلني مقيم الصلاة make me of those who establish the prayers ومن ذريتي and of my offspring of my descendants ربنا تقبل دعاء and Allah please accept our دعاء ربنا اغفر لي ولي ولدي ولي المؤمنين يوم يقوم الحساب ربنا اغفر ل ربنا اغفر لي Allah forgive me ولي ولدي and my parents ولي المؤمنين and the believers ول ول يوم يقوم الحساب on the day of on the day of reckoning ولا تحسبنا الله بغافل أما يعمل الظالمون. Don't think Allah is unaware. Don't calculate such a thing. That Allah is unaware, heedless of what the wrongdoers do. إنما يؤخرهم ليوم من تشخصه في الأبصار. Allah is just, you know, delaying things for that day where the eyes will stare. Either that punishment that will come to rejecting the prophet in this life, or the hereafter is coming anyhow. مُخْتِعِينَ مُقْنِعِينَ رُؤُسَهُمْ You know, they will be racing ahead, مُخْتِعِينَ Right? While raising their heads up, like trying to run away from the punishment. لَا لَا يَرْتَدْ إِلَيْهِمْ تَرْفُهُمْ And their glances will not come back to them. They will be so scared. Right? وَأَفْئِدَتُهُمْ حَوَىٰ And their hearts will be in void on that day. Right? It's like everything will be just like a, they'll be so like in a in a state of such fr fright and so frantic, right? And and everything will, it'll be like the earth has like the the rug has, the the stability of the earth has been taken away from them, and now they're running, trying to run away from the punishment, and they can't. And. وَأَنْزِلِ النَّاسَ يَوْمَ تَأْتِيهِمُ الْعَذَابِ فَقُلْ لِلَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا رَبَّنَا أَخِرْنَا إِلَىٰ أَجَلٍ قَرِيبٍ نُجِبْ دَعْوَتَكَ وَنَتَّبِعْ رُسُلٍ So what will happen is, and أَنْزِلِ النَّاسَ يَوْمَ تَأْتِيهِمُ الْعَذَابِ O Prophet ﷺ warned them of the day when the punishment will come to them. And those who did wrong, وَيَقُولُ الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا Those people that did injustices in the world, ربنا خرجنا اللهم they will say, رَبَّنَا أَخِرْنَا إِلَىٰ أَجَلٍ قَرِيبٍ Allah, just give us some delay of a short time. Just give us some more time. نُجِبْ دَعْوَكَ We will go back and respond to your call in the positive way. وَنَتَّبِعْ رُسُلْ And we will follow your messenger. أَوَلَمْ تَكُونُ أَقْسَمْتُمْ مِنْ قَبَلْ مَا لَكُمْ مِنْ زَوَالِ Did you not used to swear before that there would be no, uh, that, that uh, you know, bring, bring your punishment, there should be no, Concession, we want your punishment to come and use to mock the messengers. If you were even sent back, you would then still not, you would still have to decide based upon uh, your ego still coming in the way of your pride and everything. You still wouldn't have, you know, you, when you, if you were sent back in time, then you still wouldn't know what you would know in the future. And so you would end up doing the same thing. Well, second, uh, second to سَكَنْتُمْ فِي مَسَاكِنِ الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا And you lived amongst the dwellings of those people that did wrong. أَنفُسَهُمْ to themselves. وَتَبَيَّنَ لَكُمْ كَيْفَ فَعَلْنَا بِهِمْ And we made it clear what happens to you if you do this. We told you about Fir'aun. We told you about Thamud. We told you about Saleh. We told you about Lut. We told you about Nuh. Right? كَيْفَ فَعَلْنَا بِهِمْ وَضَرَبْنَا لَكُمُ الْأَمْثَالِ And we gave you so many examples to think about and to ponder over. But you weren't interested in knowing the truth. وَقَدْ مَكَرُوا مَكْرَهُمْ So now they're plotting and planning, you know, has 
has is gone against him. In the in the Allah makruhum and with Allah is their plotting and planning. وَإِنْ كَانَ مَكْرُهُمْ فِي لِتَزُولَ مِنْهُ الْجِبَالِ And if their plan had been, uh, even if their plan had been such that, you know, to do even away with mountains, to get rid of mountains, to do away, move the mountains, even then Allah Allah knew what their plan was, and Allah had full, full control of their plan, nothing was going to happen. فَلَا تَحْسَبَنَّ اللَّهُ مُخْلِفَ وَعْدَ رُسُلُهُ Don't think Allah is going to break His promise to His messengers. إِنَّ اللَّهَ عَزِيزٌ ذُنْتِقَامٌ Allah is powerful and He is able to take revenge. Right? يَوْمَ يُبَدُّلُ الْأَرْضِ غَيْرَ الْأَرْضِ وَالسَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ The day the earth will be changed to other than the earth and the heavens. Okay? Meaning the earth will be flattened out. It will be like a different earth. Okay? Here. وَالسَّمَاوَاتِ وَبَرَضُ لِلَّهِ وَاحِدِ الْقَحَارِ And all will come before Allah who is the most, uh, the one who is the one absolute most powerful one. وَتَرَى الْمُجْرِمِينَ يَوْمَ إِذٍ مُقَرَّنِينَ فِي الْأَسْفَادِ And you will see the criminals on that day, you know, together in shackles, tied in مُقَرَّنِينَ فِي الْأَسْفَادِ Bound together in shackles. صَرَابِيلُهُمْ مِنْ قَطَرَانٍ You know, and their garments, uh, of uh, they'll have these like tar, like hot tar. تَغْشَى وُجُوهَهُمُ النَّارِ And there'll be fire on their, this tar uh, you know, asphalt tar type stuff like right on their face to burn them. لِيَجَزِيَ اللَّهُ كُلُّ نَفْسٍ مَا كَسَبَتْ So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give every soul what it has earned. إِنَّ اللَّهُ سَلِيُّ الْحِسَاب Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is fast in giving uh, his hisab, his account. هَذَا بَلَاغُ لِلنَّاسِ لِتُنْذِرُوا بِهِ This is the the notification for man. هذا بلاغ. This is the reaching to man. ليُنذِرَ بِهِ And so that you may warn the people with this Quran. ليَعْلَمُ أَنَّمَا هُوَ إِلَهُ وَاحِدٌ And so that you may that know that there is only and only one Allah. وَلِذِكْرُ الْوَلِيَ وَلِيَذَكَّرُ أُلُوَ الْأَلْبَابِ And so the people of pure understanding may reflect upon the truth. الحمد لله بإزته وجلال تتم الصالحات we have now finished the 13th juz. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Make sure to subscribe today and make sure you like and make sure you leave your comments and ideas. Zakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.